Okay. Everything is fine. This is fine. This is this is a professional streaming environment. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first annual Guilty Gear Strive tournament. I'm your host, Pub Pub Sub. Coming to you live with a professional stream. Um it just started just now. There were no technical difficulties. Nothing bad ever happens. Uh, let me... As you can see, fully prepared. Professional streaming environment. Our first match coming up shall be... Wolfie Wolf, and we'll do it live. Come on down to this streaming cabinet, and we shall proceed. Any any time you guys are ready. Any second now. And we're off! Very first match of the day, of the tournament, we have Wolfie Wolf as sole bad guy, the villain, because he is the bad guy, Mankind and May. Duel one. Let's rock. Starting off very strong with the far slash, going in. Early burst coming in from Soul. First name out of the corner. In the corner, nothing he can do. Good, good too deep. Dolphin out of there, and Gunplan to finish it off. Very unfortunate. Let's see if we'll do it live. Can bring it back. Jump in into the bandit revolver. Good throw. Meaty. Why are you pressing buttons, May? Oh no. Oh no. And the first game goes to Wolfie Wolf. Stop wasting People seem to be very upset about the uh or the English dub. That's okay though. Weebs don't get a get a opinion. Oh no. Is it not such a rematch? So, one game up for Wolfie Wolf. Let's see if May can bring it back. Oh, character switch. Let's see. Wolfie Wolf switching to the Nago after a strong showing by the Soul. Let's see if this is the correct choice. Typically, you don't want to switch your character if you're the one winning. Duel one. Let's see. Can May make the adjustment? Oh, we're going in. Fukio into the throw. Pressing buttons. Just doing classic Nago things. Good to deep from May. Trying to get you to get some space. Nago going in, swinging. Has a lot of blood. Needs to be careful. Finish it off. Can we'll do it live? Make the adjustment. Oh, very good 2D counter hit. Oh. More, more Nago things. He has a lot of blood. He has to be careful! Ooh. Very close. 
bobbling in the blood rage. Didn't follow it up with anything. And that should probably do it. I think he's dead here. And he is dead. One last game. 2 0, Wolfie Wolf. Very strong solo showing for the first game. Take pride that you did your best. Waiting for the opponents. Failed to rematch. Okay. So we have one last round. Kim will do it live. Make the adjustment. Yeah, it's uh it's best to five, first to three. So right now it's two zero wolf people will do it live. No, no, no. It's uh it's first to 3. Everybody. First to 3 makes more sense than best of 5. I refuse to allow anybody to tell me differently. Sorry for the for the technical difficulties. It seems our competitors have uh, poor reading comprehension. Unfortunately, professional tournament for professional streamers. Um, as you can see, this is only the finest competitors, finest crop of competitors we have. All right. Our competitors are back. Oh wait, Wolfie Wolf is not here. Oh, he is here. All right. Game three of Wolfie Wolf vs. We'll Do It Live. Can We'll Do It Live have the amazing comeback we all expect? Or will Wolfie Wolf finish him off? Let's find out in game three. Nago coming in, pressing buttons. Good counter hit Dolphin coming in. Get off me, Nago. Jumping. We'll do it like taking damage. First to get him off him. Nago's at two blood meters. Going straight into the super. This shouldn't kill. If it does kill, I'll be very, very upset. Going in straight for the command grab. Very smart. Let's see. Last life. This is set point. Tatsugeki. In the max range. Jumping in. 2S. The Canadian burst. What are you bursting? Up in the sky. And it looks like Wolfie Wolf will be taking the game. To report the winnings. 3-0, Wolfie Wolf. Very good showing. Okay, next up is Mr. D 
versus Alsa. Ping them on Discord. This is the next next group of competitors. Alsa is literally already here. Good to see. Very prepared. Professional gamer, as we can see. Um we are waiting on Mr. D. I don't know what his uh God tier punctuality. I don't know what Mr. D's uh in-game handle is. Is it Dying Will? Is this you? Alright. Whenever you guys are ready, uh please make sure you begin the game. Alright. Next up is Mr. D vs. Alsa. Soul Bad Guy vs. Potemkin. Let us see who will come out on top. Checking the opponent's connection. Mankind knew that Going in with the default soul stage and theme. All the pink Potemkin. Respect the color choice. Jump back. Oh, straight into the hammer fall to beat the gunflame. Fortunately, it looks like one of the competitors is playing on a potato. Good pokes coming in from the Potemkin. Slide head. Ha, slide head to get in. Where's the mix? Gorilla impact. Pressing more buttons. Unfortunately, Soul can't seem to be pressing any buttons. Breaking the ball. Potemkin coming in with a strong first game. Let's see if the Soul can make the adjustment. Mega face back. Good choice. Side fall. Catching the Soul pressing buttons. Ooh, just pressing the buttons. Very strong shown by the second. Not going for the pop buster. And that is the first Perfect. first game. Going to Alsa, the Potemkin. The pink Potemkin. Very strong pink Potemkin play. Understood. Proceed with the next mission. Let's see if the soul soul bad guy can make the adjustment. Mr. D. Let us see what he can do. Fortunately, waiting for the opponent. I thought I said. Professional stream. Um. Fortunately. Oh. Um. So fortunately we got a weird spectator bug where I just got kicked from the game. Um, that's not good. Tournament environment for professional streamers. Professional gamers, professional streamers. Uh, looks like Elsa is stuck. Uh, Daisuke, what are you doing? Fix your game. Um, so it is 1-0, Elsa. Unfortunately, it looks like Elsa is stuck. This is Daisuke's vision. Telling us, showing us exactly what a lobby system should look like. Mr. D with the amazing, amazing mix-up of holding your opponent hostage. Never before have we ever seen such professional gaming strategies. Okay, looks like Elsa is free.
Okay. Looks like the game game two is starting. Elsa versus Mr. D. Can Mr. D make the make the adjustment to counter the hard pressure that is the Pink Potemkin? Fortunately, Mr. D is playing from a uh, a potato. I th I think it's Mr. D that Man has the potato need. PC. Might be the Elsa. Okay, starting off the game. Slidehead off the start. Getting hit by the far slash. Going in for the meaty. Oh, where's the mix? Ooh, far slash from Soul. He knows how to play the game. First to get out of the corner. Raw Hammerfall. You gotta be punishing that on block. Very unsafe. Bandit Revolver. Revolver. Combos? No combos. Oh, getting him with the far slash. He's stuck. Getting him with the 2D. Pressing buttons during the Garuda. Hammerfall. Ooh, Vortex going under the slide head. Didn't know that was an interaction. Meaty Garuda. Back Mega Fist. Soul wants to press far slash. And then gets anti-aired by the Potemkin. First, first round going to the pink Potemkin. Mega Fist back. Slide head. We block the Mega Fist. But no punish. Jumping on the slide head. Slide head. More slide heads. Gets hit right on the air from the hammer call. Meaty Garuda connects. But he missed the Pop Buster. Ooh, Hot Buster coming in. Combos? Just the charge GD. Slide head. Going in for the meaty after the uh after the slide head connects. Meaty Garuda. Ooh, Pot Buster! To get in the rounds! Very smart. Very smart play by the Pink Potemkin. Alsa going up 2-0 versus Mr. D. Rematch instantly. They know how to press rematch. Can Mr. D press far slash far enough to beat Potemkin? Slide head. Hammer pull. Where's the mix? Meaty Garuda. Going for the 2D. RC. But Souls pressing far slash. Throwing the soul. Garuda impact. Oh, hits him with the charge dust. And that brings him. Match point. One last chance. Can Mr. D bring it back? Hits him with the Mega Fist. Slide head. Goes straight into the Pop Buster. Ooh, Gold Burst gets him out of there. Whips the Mega Fist. RC. Corner combos. Slide head. Oh, wake up. Super. Very smart. I would have. I respect that choice. Respect it. To S connecting. Can he make a far? Ooh, the command throw. The shock barrier. Where's the mix? Where's the mix? And he just presses a button. Elsa going up 3-0 versus Mr. D. Strong showing by Elsa in the pink Potemkin. Going on to stage round two. The next match is Gluten Free Guy versus Hordexel. I'll give them a brief period of time to show up. Um, man, the lobby system in Guilty Gear Strive is something special, let me say. Waiting for the competitors to show up, hopefully. Oh, yeah, shoot, it is actually not. It's actually Picea versus Bloopy. I can't read. Professional streaming environment. 
Um, yeah, it's actually, uh, what do you mean I can't say your name? I, I don't know how it's spelled, pronounced? Let's see if I can spectate. I'm a little late. Hopefully it lets me in. Okay, let me in. So up next, we have Picea versus Bloopy, and Amelia versus Ramlethal. Let's see who will come out on top. Mankind knew that they cannot change. Oh, the birthday train! I respect the music choice. Ramlethal coming in with the with the five S. Just swinging the swords. Oh, throw the through the sword. Can Picea punish him for doing that? So it's come back, coming in with the jump up. Where's the mix? Jumping in. Jump ass. Going in with the throw. Bloopy pressing buttons. Picea's in the corner. About to get into the Ramlethal Vortex, but Picea makes the adjustment, throws him, throws him again. More discs. For some reason. <laughs> Ram Super actually autocorrected because it's really dumb. Loopy taking round one. Picea jumping in. The Milia doing Milia things. Into air dash cross up. In the corner. Oh, got hit. But he got the burst. Milia doing Milia things. Jumping in close with the cross up. More Milia things. Where's the mix? Going high into the tick throw. Doing the full screen super. Very bold choice. And the Milia coming in with the with the K. Truly Dual three. Down down to the last round. Let's see who will take game one. Milia going with the 2D. Going with the cross. More Milia things. I don't even know where the blocks are gonna come. Was that a cross up? Who knows? Let's see. Millie jumping in. Loopy getting hit by the Millia. Let's see if the Ram can make the adjustment and start to anti air the Millia. It's Picea, Millia taking game one. I'm going to keep saying it like that. I'm going to keep saying Picea. Because I know that it's incorrect. Um, Milia jumping. Going high. Getting the burst out. Whipping the throw. Pressing buttons. Milia going for the double overhead. That's cheap. You gotta watch out for that. That's one of the one of the things that Milia can do. Ram burst in. Melee caught her in the air, but doesn't get to the conversion. Going for the throw. He's down. He threw the reversal sword throw. I think that was probably super. Melee gets hit out of the air. Going for the 6P. Running up, going low. 2D. Cross up. Combos and the drop. 2D. Ooh, the RC to catch him pressing buttons. Ram going up for the throw. Where's the mix? Jump back. Really throwing a disc. Running up. 2D. Ram going into super. I don't think the Amelia pressed the button. Can he get the punish? No, he can't. Jump up, throw. Where's the mix? He's in the corner. About to do the ramp pressure, but Milia gets out. Going for the meaty. And Bloopy, the Ramlethal, takes a round. Match point, round two. Match two, game two. Going high. Combos! Respect the combos. Double overhead. 
Hate to see it. 2D. Where's the mix? Going for the meaty. More mix! Oh no. And the anti-air to take. A perfect. And game two. Very strong showing from Milia. Game three. 2 0. I see ya. Can Bullopy make it? Run it back. Let's see. Hit him with the 6P. Insta burst. Milia going for the jumps. Whiffs the throw. 6P him out of the air. Punish him for doing the H disc. Going up. Going low. 2D. Cross up. Combos? Does he have these? He does have these. Respect. 2D. Going high. Hit him with the 2D from from the Ramblethal. Swinging the swords. He's in the corner now. Oh, and he punished him for the, for the YRC. Oh, that is amazing. Good job by Bloopy punishing the YRC. 2D. Oh, no. Billy is in the corner, but he jumps. Going under. Going low. Got to block low against uh, those 2Ds. Does a stupid slide. Drops the combo. But it looks like Milia takes the game. Match point for Picea. Can Bloopy run it back? 2Ds. Cross up. Going left, going low. I don't even know where things are going. 6P. Ram running up and throwing. What's the mix? Just to jump back. The burst. Hits him. He's in the corner. What's he gonna do? Millie gets a 2D. Oh, and he gets he does the reversal, but he blocks, but unfortunately, Ramless all is super. Very stupid. Run up throw. He's in the corner. Where's the mix? He saw the throw! And the throw! Loopy taking a game! Two, uh, two, one. Picea, Bloopy. Mankind knew that they could. Bloopy making a run back. Respect. Making the adjustment. Download complete. Picea going for the high. Getting the two D. Bur Bloopy bursting to make him to get out of the, the mix. Bloopy going for the throw. I see ya. Going in. Bloopy running for the throw. Going for the meaty. Goes for the low. RC, but no conversion off of it. Oh, and the combos! Two hit confirm into super. Very good. Round one. Bloopy takes it. Can I see make the adjustment? 6P at the start. Melia running in. 2D. Going high, going low. Does he have the combos? No, he does not. 2D. Loopy. Following up with the Rekka. Loopy has the burst. He uses it. Loopy pressing buttons. He's in the mix. In the Milia Vortex. Can, can Pisces a combo? Oh no! Oh, and he got something! And, but he punishes. The reversal super. I thought that super was going to hit for sure. Ramblethal going for the jump, going for the throw. Where's the mix? Picea going for the throw, but whiffs it because he's still in block stun. 2D, where's the mix? Going in the front. I thought that was probably in the back. Milia doing Milia things. Where's the mix? Caught him with the swing. 2D. This goes for the cross up this time. Oh! And Picea taking game four. 3 1. Picea Bloopy. Good good job. So let me enter that into the into the scores. Submit scores. Next game is Gluten Free Guy versus Podexel. Cortexel has entered the room. Uh, I don't know where Gluten Creek. Oh, he's right here. Okay. 
Plume V Free Guy versus Pordexel. Uh whenever you're ready. Pordexel versus Gluten Free Guy. Game one. Spectate the match. Bramleth Hall versus Axel, I think? Ramlethal versus Axel Low. I don't know much about this matchup. Um, I feel like this matchup is probably good for Ram because she has the range to to contest against Axel. But we'll see how this plays out in game number one. Caps rooting for for Axel Gang. Respect the Axel Gang. Any second now, we'll be into the game. Starting off game one, Ramlethal versus Axel Low. <laughs> Axel keeping him out. Oh, going for the command throw. Very nice. Renson with the follow up. Axel pressing buttons. Ramlethal swinging her swords. Unable to get in so far. him with the 2s but he's still far axel zoning him out running up with the overhead down low get some high jumps in ramble falls in but he's in the corner and axel presses a button gets out takes round one import axel versus the gluten free guy import axel make the adjustment ah, caught him swinging Axel fold, max screen, catches him. Where's the mix? He's in the corner! Oh no! Unfortunately, Axel's not able to play the game yet. Wall break. Just doing ram with all things. Long way to go for game number, round number two. Caught him swinging. Just a little bit of damage to go. Caught him high. Oh, runs up for the throw. Or Dexel making the adjustment against Gluten Free Guy. Round three. For game number one. Hit him with the 2D. He's in the corner. Axel pressing buttons. Jumps out of the corner. Now we're back full screen, back in the neutral. This is exactly where Axel wants to be, but Dexel casts him with the two at with the 5S. Runs up. Hits him low. 2D. He's in the corner now. Exactly where you want to be as Ramlethal. The, the very questionable gold burst. And Pordexel taking game number one. Let's see if Axel can make the adjustment. We can go home now. Let's go. Mankind. The, the Canadian burst, gold burst. I respect the choice. Ramlethal going in, swinging at the first, at the start. Swinging in. He's in the range. He's in the corner. Can he get the wall break? Easy wall break. Bye. What is that damage? I, you know, sometimes Ramlethal. Ramlethal does some damage in the corner. Oh, does he have the combos? Can he convert? Get the second burst. Uh, no, he can't. But he goes low. Axel saving the burst. Respect the choice. But he somehow manages to escape, but Lord gets. Gets the adjustment. Actually gets it. Round two. Ford Axel running in. Gets him in cut in the corner. Catches him pressing a button. Easy wall break combo. By the Ramlethal. Just running at him. It's the positive bonus running in. Axel's caught in the corner once again. Gets out, but you know, classic Ram of all things. If you get out of the corner, they will press super. Game two. Ram of up 2 0 versus Axel low. Can Axel make the adjustment and bring it home? Catches him high. Axel running. He's in the corner, got hit. Easy counter, but he messes up the timing on the uh, 2-5-6-H. Two, two, 
but he makes the adjustment. Gets a, gets him. Anyway. Long way to go for the Axel to make a comeback, but you know, but the uh, the Ramblethal is very up close. Is up close. Gets back to the neutral. Runs up for the throw here. Round one. This is match point for Podexel. Can gluten three free guy make the adjustment? Bring it all back. Whips the throw. Good anti air. Oh, goes for the goes for the command throw, but he didn't even adjust. But he still didn't get it. Travis, Steve. he's in the corner. Can he do it? Oh, goes straight into the super. This is gonna be a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Poison mix. I've never seen that button before. Um, actually, pressing buttons, keeping ram out. Good anti air. Up follow up on Drensen. Wish the throw. Burst instantly. Goes for the hair. Anti airs. Can he do it? Nobody in the history of the planet has ever blocked that Remsen follow up. It is unblockable. Very good adjustment by Gluten Free Guy. Can he make the adjustment? Keeping him out. Keeping the him out. But he's in the corner versus Ramlethal. He gets out a little bit. Getting some space with that jump. Jump ass, I think. Good, good anti air by Cordexel. Hit some swinging. He's in corner versus Ramblethal. You know, just you know, Ramblethal thing. Get one hit. That's half your health gone. Good counter head on the overhead. Hits him. Oh, gets the command throw. Caught him on the ground. Good for you, guy. Oh, caught the burst, baited the burst, 300 IQ play. Fortunately, Axel still in the corner versus Ramlethal, and Gluten Free Guy takes round three, uh, match three, bringing the score to one. Man, Gluten Free Guy, good showing by the Axel, making the adjustment, making Port Axel work for it. Hits him with the ram, hits him with the 2D. He's in the corner. No sword throw follow up. I think that would have hit. Runs up for the throw, whips the throw. Axel pressing buttons. Keeping the Ramlethal out. Smart command throw, but fortunately, Ramlethal is jumping. Good anti air by the Axel. Keeping the Ramlethal at a distance. The ram is back to the corner. Anything can change after one hit. From the Ramathal. We've seen it before. Oh, he's in the corner now. Where's the mix? 2D. RC. Baits the burst, but no burst. But he gets hit by the meaty 5S anyway. It's coming down to the wire. Match point once again. Gloom Free Guy against the wall. And that's not where you want to be versus Ramathal. Rinse and follow up. Get some low. Good anti air. Keep it out. Blocks the box the jump H from Ramlethal. Back in neutral. This is exactly where Ra of where Axel wants to be. Ramlethal getting some distance. He's in the corner. Where's the mix gonna come from? Axel gets out, but the gold burst brings him back in. Oh no! Ramlethal drops the combo, but runs up with the su random super. Respect the choice. Gets him hit with the corner. He has a burst, but that's it. Luke Hordexel takes it. 3-1 versus Gluten Free Guy. The Gluten Free Guy is sent to the loser's bracket. 1-3. Submit scores. The next match. Next match is Moral Wreck. Uh, how, do, how on earth do you spell that name? Versus Beanie B. Good showing by Gluten Free Guy. Gluten Free Guy doesn't know how to burst. <laughs> Respect. Don't worry, you can't burst versus Ramlethal anyway. So it wouldn't have done much. Okay. More Wreck versus Beanie B. 
Potemkin versus Gold Lewis. New character. Desmora Rec know the matchup. Two big bodies. One one screen. What big body will reign supreme? Duel one. Let's rock. Going into the boss stage with the uh with the Zato song. Gets a hit. Beanie B. Gets a Potemkin in the corner. And this behemoth typhoon, you can't get out! RC, just for style. Gets the wall break. More wreck can't get in yet. Slide head. Thunderbird. Mega Fist. Go low into the Mega Fix. Cheapness. Slide head. Jumps in, but he saves himself with the RC. Coming in. Neither person has used their burst yet. Going low into the Mega Fist. You can punish that. I think you can with Gold Lewis at least. Ooh, the meaty Mega Fist into the low RC, but Gold Lewis pressing buttons to bring out game number one. Behemoth Typhoon anti air. Go with the meaty. Behemoth Typhoon. Another meaty, but the. Temkin goes for the gold, the burst to bring him out. Garuda impact. Low into the high. Gets out, back into neutral. Slide head. Overhead, he blocks the overhead Behemoth Typhoon, but unfortunately that is plus on block for some apparent reason. Gets the Potemkin Buster. RC. Follow-up combo. Okay, where's the next mix? I think he's gonna burst. Oh, but he wakes up super! He's too far! Save Garuda, meaning Garuda! RC's, but... Back into neutral. Anybody's game! Gold burst, uh, Gold Lewis burst. Gets hit by the Skyfish. Goes for the overhead. Gets the gold burst. He has so much meter. But, he just shoots him with a gun. Apparently that goes through the mirror. Who knew? Yes, hello. Beanie B taking game number one in Morak versus Beanie B. Both of them jump, jump back. Goes low. Meaty. First out of the corner. Mega fist. Where's the mix? Tries to flick, but he gets hit by the Behemoth Typhoon. Jump back. Mega fist. Super safe. Gets hit by the Mega Fist, but he bursts out. Shoots the mirror. Slide head. Gets hit. Where's the mix? Goes for the low again. Mega Fist. That's punishable. Thunderbolt. Thunderbird. Catches him with the button. Where's the mix? Goes for a button. Goes for the wake up super again. Gets hit. Oh no, he's about to get shot. He's gonna get shot again. A little bit, gets hit out of the air with the uh, jump S, I believe, from from the Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis jumping in, hits him with the Behemoth Typhoon, gets hit by the, by the uh, Mega Fist. Hits him with the Mega Fist again, double jump, but he gets the anti-air to trade. Burst out of the corner, Mega Fist, that's punishable. Doesn't get the punish though. Beam at Typhoon. Runs up. Overhead. He's plus. Plus for days. Behemoth Typhoon. Behemoth Typhoon. Gets hit by the Behemoth Typhoon. Taking game number two for Beanie Bee. One more game and Beanie Bee will go to the next round. Let's see if more wreck can make the adjustment. Hits him with the 2D into the Mega Fist. Anti airs him with the with the grab. In the typhoon, he's caught in the corner. Jump back Mega Fist. But then he gets hit out of the air. Good pressure by Beanie Bee with the Behemoth Typhoon. More Behemoth Typhoon. But waits for the burst and gets it. Beats the max security of Skyfish with the slide head. Anti-airs him, but gets hit by the follow-up. 
but he gets hit by the overhead. He's plus. He's still plus. Can't press buttons. Why is his overhead plus? Who knows? Runs up. Mega Fist. Mega Fist trades. Up the jump. Jumps. Beat him at Typhoon. Gets hit by the Mega Fist. Doesn't get the punish. Mega Fist. Mega Fist. Gets a throw. Where's the where's the mix? Meaty Garuda. Just just blocking. Very smart. More Ruck hasn't gone for the uh, hasn't gone for the Pop Buster yet, so they'll just continue to block. It's him. Behemoth Typhoon. He's in the corner. Is he gonna get out? Goes for the overhead. He's plus, but then he goes for the charge D. -D. Gets mashed out. More Rack fighting for his life. On match point. Kim Potemkin work his way back. Make the adjustment. Mega Fist. Slide head. Blocks the jumping attacks. Max ring through to impact. Bold strategy. Blocks the hammer fall, but no punish by the gold Lewis. Oh, we see. Combo video time? Big damage coming from the Gold Lewis. That is a lot of damage. It's a, it's a thing. Mega Fist. Sit the jump away. Back in neutral. Gold Lewis coming in with the jump. More wreck. Gets the burst. FD. And then Beanie B takes it. With a convincing 3-0 against Mororek. So Mororek will be going on in winner's bracket and... Or, Beanie B will be going on to Mo winner's bracket and Mororek will be sent to losers. Um, apparently the tournament site is not... Not letting me fill out the score yet. The next game will be... Mr. D and versus Bloopy in loser's bracket. Whoever loses this will be going home. Uh, can someone give him, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I can't fill out the, uh, thing yet. Oh no. The challenge link is, uh, exploded. Okay, it's back. Still can't fill out the score yet. It's unfortunate. Try again later. Alright. Mr. D! Versus Bloopy. Soul Bad Guy versus Ramlethal. Let's see. Who will be the first to be sent home? Get last place. Be the laughing stock of Jads. Will it be Bloopy or will it be Mr. D? Who knows? There's only one way to find out. In this fight to the death! R slash! Oh no, that was, that was a 6B, sorry. They look very similar. Bloopy running up, hitting the 2D. Swinging some swords. Hit some with the gold burst. Soul with meter. Terrifying thought. Any button and he'll be dead. Hit some out of the air with the, with the jump S. Wake up DP. Mr. D. Gets hit by the 2D. 2D, Mr. D. Wake up super. I don't think he pressed any button, but he tried to punish it too early. Hits him with the burst. Runs away. Hits him in the corner. American reset. 2D. Catches him predicting buttons. Jumps out of the corner. But the Ramlethal is swinging his sword. Fighting for his life in this match. Hits him with the 2P to finish off the round. Round one, going to Bloopy, the Ramlethal. Dual two. Mr. D make the adjustment. Starts with the success. Jumps in. 
doing so bad guy things, but hit tip by the 2D. Non-reversal DP. Respect the choice. Um, jumps in. Goes for the throw. Hits him out of the air. Catches him jumping. He's in the Bramlethal Vortex. Can the soul get out? Gets hit from from the whiff to DP. Back in the corner. Can soul make the adjustment jumping in? The one hit confirmed. Super, super intentional. Respect the choice. Taking the uh, taking the round. Bloopy up 1-0 versus Mr. D. Fighting his way to survive in the losers bracket. Can he make the adjustment? So bad guy jumping in. Thing. Pressing buttons. Gets hit. Gets hit with a swinging. Go with the overhead. Can't burst versus Ram. Wakes up with this. Wakes up with buttons. Catches a soul with a reversal super. Hits him with a two p six p. Vortex goes under the the five s from the Randlethal with the vortex, but no follow up combo. Loopy taking the first round in game two. Runs up throw. Where's the mix? Goes for the throw again, but he was jumping. Air Force Soul. Soul hitting him in the air. Bandit Revolver running up. Respect, respecting the wake up. Hits him out of the air. Goes for the throw, but he's jumping. With the 2D. Ram hits him out of the air. That jump S is a menace in this matchup. 6P runs up, tries to for the throw, but gets hit by the far slash from Soul. Burst into the wake up super. I think he'll get hit. He got hit. I don't know what happened, but something sure did happen. Oh, he got hit by the Ramlethal. I respect the jump P combo. Loopy. Taking round two with the Ramlethal. Convincing. Can Mr. D make the adjustment and save himself from being the first person eliminated from the Jads fighting game tournament? Runs up for the throw. Loopy. Swinging his swords. Back near. Runs up throw. He's in the corner. Not where you want to be versus Ramlethal. Gets a hit, but couldn't convert off of it. Jumps out, but gets hit. Can't burst versus a ram, unfortunately. Hit. Goes for the goes for the jump in. First to get out of the pressure. Full screen super. So should be able to should be able to punish that with the uh, with the vortex. Creep a bounder lag. Going for the low. Going for the meaty Rekka. Gets a, gets a hit. Ram using all of her swords, but gets hit by the DP. Ram doesn't have any of her swords, but Ram takes it out with the with the two K. Match point. Last chance for Mr. D to make the make the adjustment and bring himself back. Fighting for his life in the corner versus Ram, getting hit wall break combo by Ramlethal. Overhead, super punishable. Swinging swords, jumping out. One hit confirmed. Super takes the game. Mr. D has been eliminated from the Jads fighting game tournament. And Bloopy continues on, fighting for his life. And apparently I can't, I can't, you know, tell the results, so... Um, this challenge link is, is not, is not working right now. Not sure who's the next person. Give me one second while I, uh, wait for this link to come back. I don't know who the, yeah, someone killed the bracket site. Right? It's probably because Evo's is up. <laughs> Banned every loser. Only one person. It's the one way to kill. Kill Guilty Den. It's to ban all the losers, so only one Guilty Gear player is left in Jads. So up next is Leo versus 
Wolfy Wolf. This should be an interesting fl play. So waiting for Wolfy Wolf. Kai player. Wolfy Wolf. Unfortunately, is blocked by the will of Daisuke in the in the loading screen. So he should be here in uh, five to six six business days, um, waiting for it to reconnect. Kai versus Leo. I've heard that Kai versus Leo is very in, or sorry, Kai versus Nago. I heard that Kai has, is favored in this matchup. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, I disagree, but we'll see. Anything can happen. Fortunately, the tournament bracket link is dying, so we'll we'll have to find out what's going on. We'll see. While we wait, um, we'll still get to play losers. Yes, it is double elimination. Double elimination tournament. The only person who has been eliminated so far is Mr. D. Um, Wolfie Wolf is here, and it looks like the ma match is about to start see all right jumping in to game number one for leo versus wolfy wolf let's see who will come out on top if if daisuke will let me any second now any second now D daisuke any any second now. Um, as you, as you, we can see, this tournament is fighting to the death. The Kai player is making an adjustment. Let's see if I can enter later. I'll probably, it'll probably do next match. So as we can see from the health bar so far, Soul Bad Guy has a lead versus Kai. Soul Bad Guy is taking damage. So, losing. Oh! Got hit! Looks like Kai took... Oh! Kai took round number one from the soul bad guy. Um, Daisuke is blessing us with this amazing feast for the ages. Fine to the death. Round, round two. Kai gets the first hit. Takes a little bit of damage. Looks like they're playing neutral. Nobody's taken the hit yet. Kai gets another hit. Oh, but the soul bad guy fires back. Oh, but he gets hit again. Kai Kai is making huge huge progress here. So bad guy gets a hit. Unfortunately, um, looks like is Kai gonna take the first round? Leo coming in with a first fresh appearance. Um, any second now. And Kai, Leo on the Kai, taking game number one in this battle to the death. Will it let us spectate? No, it won't. Thank you, Daisuke, for this bountiful feast that we are about to witness. Um... Yes. Very... Very exciting. Um, So 
So as we can see in game two, Kai making some progress. He's up one round. Can he close it out to 2-0? Soul got a hit. Kai's pretty low. But Kai's taking Kai's doing some damage to the Soul Bad Guy. This is <laughs> This is the This is the pinnacle. This is Daisuke's vision of what spectator sports look like. Okay, anybody who doesn't like this is um is hating on, on Daisuke. And the Kai took round two. Game two. One more game. To bring it, bring it home. Oh dear. Early lead from the Kai. Kai has a big lead. In round one, in the final game, probably the final game, game three. Oh, Soul Soul took a big chunk, probably got hit a far slash. But Leo on the Kai is on match point. Early lead from the Kai coming in hot. Big damage coming from the Kai player. This is match point. And we'll see. If we can make the adjustment. He's very low. And it looks like we have a victor. 3-0 Leo versus Wolfie Wolf. Wolfie Wolf sent to losers, br losers bracket. Here we go. Um, up next is Alsa versus Picea. Wait, don't don't use that uh don't use that thing. Oh, never mind. Let's see if it works. Nope. Nope, it doesn't. Oh, it is! Dicecape has blessed us this day! We are going in to game one of Picea versus Elsa in the winner's bracket. Let's see who will come out on top. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Allowing, so of allowing the, uh, the openings to play. I don't think I've ever seen any of the openings. Oh, the, the pink Potemkin versus the drip that is Milia. Such no, nobody is nobody is skipping the intro. Get to see it. Let's go. Playing with the birthday train. Respect the choice. Going 2D. Milia jumping in versus Potemkin, but Potemkin just throws, misses the meaty uh, Garuda. It's a hit. 2D Mega Fist. Runs straight through everything Potemkin has. But Gold Burst. Hammerfall. Where's the mix? Hits him with the meaty. It wasn't a meaty. Goes for the Pop Buster. Unfortunately, Milia is jumping. All Does he have the combos? He has the combos. Very nice wall break. Coming in. Very close. And he hit. Garuda Impact. But he RCs. Or FDs. Hits him with the anti-air. 6p from the Potemkin to bring out round number one. Jumping in. See so you're going to 2d. Trips him up. Slide head. Runs in. Slide head. 6p. Run up. 2k. 2d. First to get out of there. From the mix. 2d again. Punishes it with the 2D from Potemkin. It's his turn now. Back to neutral. 2D. Where's the mix? He tries to back Mega Fix, but gets clipped by the disc. Whiffs the throw. In the Milia Vortex, but just gets grabbed. Meaty Garuda. Garuda into the 2K. Very, very solid round from the pink Potemkin, Alsa. 
game one, going to Elsa, the pink Potemkin. Kim Paisia make the adjustment. Neither rematch, um, unfortunately. So we have to go back in to the game. Um... Let's see if Daisuke will bless us again this day. Daisuke has blessed us this day. Don't don't blame me for the stream quality. I, I made no promises for the stream quality. I don't think my computer is good enough to uh, to stream this at high quality. Burst coming in from the Potemkin. Runs straight up! Full screen for the throw! Good tech. Also goes for the, th as a th for the throw. Garuda impact. Garuda impact. Goes for the dust! Mega fist. Maybe. RCs to make that safe. Jumps in to catch the 2D. Hits him out from the, th from the throw. 2D hits him. Where's the mix? Crosses up. Misses the follow up combo. 2D. D H disc. Jump back from Potemkin. Catches him. Slide head. Punishing. Anti airs him. Canadian burst up in the air. Beats him. Very good bait, burst bait by Picea. Looks like Picea made the adjustment that they needed in this game, too. Groover to impact into the Hammerfall. Very good blocks coming from Alsa versus, uh, versus Mixes. H disc. Pressing button it catches him with the 2D. Back Mega Fist. Connects. Picea jumping in. Jumping in. That is very cheap. Guru to impact into Mega Fist. RC hits him with the Mega Fist. Catches him with the 2D. Guru to impact. Hits him with the 2D once again. Very strong pressure coming in from Alsa. The pink Potemkin. Mega Fist back. Slide head. Can't punish. Gold Burst doesn't connect. That The double overhead catches him. Can he follow up for the ball break? She's not to go for the wall break. Gets hit by the get hits up by the wake up throw. Midi Garuda. Hammer fall. Garuda impact. Misses the 6P. Anti-air. Gets hit by the side hat armor not going through. Gold burst. Attempt him with meter. Where's the mix? He's in the corner. Very good blocks by Alsa. Rolls through. Very, very good mix up. Coming in from Picea. Wake up. You can throw that! Oh no. For reference, if a Potemkin does the mirrors up in your face and you block it, you can just throw him out of it. Very good combo. Into the first bait. Into the beating round two. It is currently 1 1. Alsa versus Picea. This is anybody's game. Looks like we have two even opponents. 6P. Slide head. Jumping. Hits him with the 2D. Wakes up throw. Midi Garuda. 2D. Slide head. Beats the slide head by crossing up. Hammerfall with the mix. Going straight into the Potemkin Buster. Is he dead? Oh, he could have RC'd and killed him. Goes for the overhead. 2D. Doesn't fully charge it. Shock barrier. Jumping over it. But catches catches that hand. Let's see if there's any adjustment from these players. Slide head from max range. Hits him with full screen slide. Super punishable, but didn't block low. Cross up. Very good blocks by Alsa. Against this Milia player. Throws the roll. Very good punish. Hits him with the charge 2D. Does he have a combo? Oh my god, that damage, but doesn't get the full combo. That was There was even more damage for that combo. Next. <laughs> the roll into the instant, instant gold burst that got blocked. Gold burst by... Gold burst, but gets hit by the full screen super for the wall break. Hits him with the shock bearer, but he blocks it. Unbelievable. 
rethink my strategy. Slap. Slap. Duel three. Let's rock. Round three. Anybody's game. I see a strong with the 2D. Where's the million mix? Goes for the cross up. Does he have these combos? Does he have them? Misses the bad moon. Still a strong combo. Hits him with the 2D. Oh, charge dust attack. Keeping it simple with the dust combos. Going for the double overhead to beat the slide head. Very strong. Oh! That was a pop buster. I'm sure of it. That was a pop buster. But he hit him with the wake up. Super. You should pay more attention. Mankind. Two one. Isaiah versus Alsa. Can Alsa make the adjustment after that? Perfect. Caught him with the two six P. Garuda Buster. Slide head. He's in the corner. Hits him with the pod buster to take take him for the perfect. So smart. I'll press some buttons. Point blank. The burst goes through the Garuda. Oh, hits him with the 6P to beat the Bad Moon. Hits him with the Pop Buster. Oh no, that damage. What will he do? Burst. Didn't get the punish on the burst. Milia doing Milia things. He's caught in the Milia Vortex. Rolls, but hits him with the 2D. Meet Garuda. RC into the pop buster but he whiffs a little bit too late on that pop buster slide head point blank but hits him with the 2d instead milia doing milia combos does he have these oh slight drop but hits him with the follow-up 2d shock barrier but i think this is safe very good safe jump by the milia player going for the low but he that's punishable garuda impact hits him with the 2d this is the closest game so far 2-2 Elsa versus Picea. Who will take it? Let's see. Evenly matched. Hits him with the anti-air mega buster. Garuda impact. Hits him with the 2D mega fist. Oh, very good 6P by the by Elsa. 2D burst. I see it getting hit by these getting hit by these anti-air 6P is very good. Oh no, he's so close! Oh disaster! I respect it. Back Megafist to take the round though. But that heavenly Potemkin Buster. He deserved it. He deserved it, but you know. Picea does hates fun and didn't let him get the Heavenly Potemkin Buster. Picea got these combos. Going for the media 2 2K. Media Garuda, 2 2D, jumping in, hits him with the hits him with the air attack, running in, jump, cross up, going for the throw, slide head beating the max screen super, oh RC but couldn't get the uh, couldn't get the air throw, going for the jump, within throws, is anybody's round? This is match point by Picea. Gets the RC. Going for that air. Getting the throw. Well, also take it. He's in the vortex. Oh no! He, he should have gotten hit. Picea lives another day on a sliver pixel of health. This is match point for either person. Whoever takes this will be going on in winner's bracket. Max range. That's punishable. Going for the mega fist. Slide head. 2D. I respect the choices Elsa is making for these bold Heavenly Potemkin Busters. Will we actually see one? Going in. Wake up throw. Meaty Garuda. 2D into the Pop Buster. That's punishable. Hits him with a 6P on the Bad Moon. Mega Fist. That's punishable. Burst by the Potemkin. Running up. Hits him with a disc. Running up. Pressing buttons in the middle of Vortex. Where's the mix-up coming from? More mix-ups. Cross-up in the corner. I wouldn't have blocked that. Get him. Get a hit. Get some out in the back. Does he have these combos? Canadian burst. You can't burst there. No punish, though. Oh, meaty wall. Very good burst to get out of the corner. Anybody's game. Down to a sliver. That's punishable. And Elsa is going to take it. 
3-2 versus Picea and gonna continue on to the Ruiners bracket. Sending Picea into well done. into the losers bracket. Extremely close game. Respect the choices. Up next. Up next we have Um Shit. We have Woman Sexer versus Prodexel. This is Woman Sexer's first appearance on the stream. The greatest chip we have ever seen in the history of this video game. Uh, I don't believe Prodexel is in the lobby currently. Pordexel's here, and Woman Sex is here. W woman Sex here. Left the, left the... Left the station. Women, women Sexer is my favorite to win this tournament, just for the name alone. Okay, let's see. Will Daisuke bless us and let us view this match? Da Daisuke? Daisuke has blessed us this day. Let's go into game one of Woman Sexer versus Poor Dexel. Chip versus Ramlethal. Let's see who will come out on top. In this battle royale, Duel One. Let's Respect the song choice. Coming in, Chip going in with the drip Chip skin. Coming in with the swings. Hits him with the Beta Blade. That was probably Alpha Blade. Hits him with the Rekka overhead reset. Alpha Blade. Was this a wall break? No. Can't press buttons versus Chip. Hit him with the anti-air, but that's punishable. Doesn't get the punish. Anti-air's with the with the 5P. You know, sometimes Chip just presses buttons and you can't play the game. Goes for the overhead, but he jumps. Chip taking first round. Woman Sexer with a strong first tournament appearance here on the main stage. Protexel hits him with the 5S. Goes for the overhead, but gets 6P'd! Very good reactions to that that overhead. Alpha Blade. Back in neutral. Chip's probably gonna run up and press buttons. He runs up and presses buttons! Going for the Rekka. RC goes for the overhead. He's doing stuff. I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. Even the Chip doesn't know what's going on. Ramlethal is pressing buttons. Swinging his swords. Chip runs up. Misses the Rekka, goes for the Alpha Blade. Alpha Blade again. Unfortunately, the connection is... Connection has been lost. Women's Sexer has DC'd. Unfortunately, that is a disconnect. As a tournament organizer, unfortunately... Unfortunately, if you disconnect, I will rule that the round goes... The match goes... That game goes to Pordexel. So it is currently 1-0 Pordexel... Woman sexer. So uh, while we wait, uh, so while we wait for uh, woman sexer to come back, <laughs> woman sexer got canceled. Yeah. While we wait, uh, let's let's hear from our sponsors. Um, Publix Chicken Tender Subs, the greatest sandwiches on planet Earth. Uh, be sure to get yours today. Currently, they are not on sale. Unfortunately, Publix Chicken Tender Subs are not on sale. It is only the uh, Italian sub that is on sale. So be sure to go to your local Publix uh, today to pick up a fresh Publix Chicken Tender Sub. They are delicious. Women Sexer is ha currently having technical difficulties.
So we'll see. What the fuck is a Publix? How dare you? First of all. And second, it's a grocery store in the American South, which sells the best sandwiches. We can watch a speedrun of that one Castlevania game while we wait. It's true. Oh no. Am I late? I might be late. Oh no. Fortunately, the game didn't go through. So Daisuke... Daisuke has given us another chance. Daisuke? Daisuke has blessed us this day. Going into game number two, Pordexel is currently up 1-0 in this match. In the winner's bracket. We are currently in round two of the winner's bracket. Let's see who will take it. 1-0, game two. Kim Woman Sexer fixes connection with the jib, drip chip. Coming in, swinging. Prodexel swinging his swords. Anti-air with the jump jump P. Hit some mashing buttons with the 2D. Meaty goes for the throw. Swing! That feeling when you're in the corner versus Ramlethal and you just take damage. Chip pressing buttons. First him off when he's pressing the Rekkas. Goes low. Alpha, Alpha Blade. More Alpha Blade. Hits him with the reversal super. Respect the choice since a woman sexer is just pressing all the buttons on his on his gamepad. Hits him with the Rekka. Goes high. Chips hits him with the Beta Blade. Hits him with the Beta Blade. But first, they make him safe. He's in the corner versus Chip. He's pressing buttons. He's out of there, but unfortunately, you're versus Ramlethal, and you're in the corner, and you just took half your health because you had the audacity to get hit by a fireball. You're in the corner. Can you finish the combo? No, he can't. Drops the combo, but hits him with the 2D RC and finishes off the round. 2-0 for Dexel, Women Sexer. Kim Women Sexer. Kim Women Sexer. Finish off the game. We have the Ramlethal pressing buttons. He collided in the air, jumps S, hits him with the two uh, with the charge D, but misses with the backdash. He manages to actually burst versus Ramlethal. He has done the impossible. Hits him. You're in the vortex, but he gets hit by the thing. And but he whips a beta blade, so the pressure is over. Chip whips some Rekkas. Beta Blade whiffs again. Unfortunate from the chip player. RC is the overhead. Reversals. You can punish that. Oh, but doesn't get the punish. He goes for the throw, but he gets backdash. He backdashes. Goes for the overhead and the 6P. Amazing reactions from poor Dexel to counter that overhead. You're in the corner versus Ramlethal, but he bur he runs away. Dashes under the jump in. Ramasol. Swinging her sword. Chip fighting for his life. This is match point after after all. Does the reversal super. That is not an invincible wake up. And it's punishable. Here in the corner versus Ram. Gets hit by the jump. But he bursts instantly after getting hit. Ramasol swinging. Jumps. Ramasol does have burst. Goes for the wake up super again. Poor Dexel, finishing off Women's Sexer 3-0, sending Women's Sexer to Loser's Bracket. Unfortunate series of events with the disconnect, but unfortunately, Poor Dexel shows convincing two other games. Next match. Yeah, unfortunately, Women's Sexer did not end up sexing that woman. 
very unfortunate series of events. So ne up next is Dragon versus Beanie Bee. Uh, I don't know if Dragon's here. Oh, I think Dragon is just 6P Dolphin. So just 6P Dolphin. Great advice coming at. Gold Lewis versus Gold Lewis. We have a thick off. Let's see who will come out on top with the Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis mirror. Oh, uh, we have pink Gold Lewis versus white Gold Lewis. Beanie B is in the white. Just 6P Dolphin is in the pink. Behemoth Typhoon. Behemoth Typhoon. 2D into the Behemoth Typhoon. Jump Behemoth Typhoon. Hitting him with the Behemoth Typhoon. Gold Lewis hitting him with another Behemoth Typhoon. Charge, uh, charge Dust gets blocked. Skyfish goes for the super. Where's the mix coming from? Goes for the throw. Very smart. Tick throw from Just 6P Dolphin. But wake up super from Beanie Bee. Doesn't do the full charge though. <laughs> Counters him with the wake up super, but he jumps over. Goes for straight for the burst. Wake up, wake up throw on the um, attempted meaty. Double KO! Oh my god! Let's see who will finish him off. Who will take come out on top in this amazing, outrageous event? Some with the anti air. Goes for the jump behemoth typhoon, but misses it. You're in the corner versus Gold Lewis. What can you expect? Overhead behemoth typhoon! Look at that damage! From an overhead. They both jump. Air burst. Jumps, but he gets hit by the Gatling gun. Jump. 2D. I think that's Beanie B. Beanie B taking game number one. Let's see if Dragon can make an adjustment in this Gold Lewis mirror. Running up. Hitting him with the, with the 5S for a far slash. Goes for the overhead but gets blocked. Very good block from the white gold Lewis. Burst before the overhead. Jump S. Oh, reversal super! So smart! But he's not dead yet. But gets hit by the skyfish. He probably was low enough that that chipped him. Behemoth Typhoon. Meaty, meaty uh, 5S. Hits him with the max range uh, Gatling gun, but the Skyfish is a little low. Goes for the overhead. Combos off of it. Look at that damage. Goes for another overhead. Wall break combo. Just 6 Peep Dolphin putting on a clinic. Tick throw for the other Behemoth Typhoon. Buddy, he has burst. I knew that he was going to burst there. Because of course he's going to burst there. Just 6P Dolphin, aka Dragon, taking Hello. game number two, Hello? bringing the series 1 1. Dragon versus Beanie Bee in the Gold Lewis Mirror. Behemoth Typhoon. Behemoth Typhoon. They're, they're doing a magical ballet of dancing with the jumping attacks. Burst from the, uh, from the White Gold Lewis. Goes for the overhead. But the burst cancels the follow-up combo. Both of them skyfish cancel each other out perfectly. RC. Wake up super and it hits him, but it's not fully charged, so it's only a little bit of damage. Goes up for the throw. White white gold Lewis taking round number one. Gold Lewis running up. Using Behemoth Typhoon. The White Gold Lewis is out for blood. Running up. They're playing neutral like Gold Lewis normally does. And by that I mean jumping around randomly and pressing buttons. Locks the overhead, but unfortunately that is plus on block. Reversal Super during the frame trap. Very smart. Reversal Super by the White Gold Lewis gets hit. He's on a sliver! 
goes for midi to S to finish off the game. Beanie B is up 2 1 versus Dragon. Let's see who will come out on top in this in this uh, fantastic tournament. 2S into Behemoth Typhoon, but he bursts him out of there. Behemoth Typhoon. Frame traps. Hits him with the Gatling Gum, but he responds with the Skyfish. Burst from the other Gold Lewis. Goes for the overhead, gets blocked. Unfortunately, that's plus on block. You have to press buttons before the, the overhead hits in order to counter it. So White Gold Lewis. Beanie B. On match point. They both go for uh, both go for Behemoth Typhoon, but one Behemoth Typhoon comes out on top. Skyfish gets hit by the other thing. Goes for the overhead. He's plus on block still. Can't be pressing buttons. Goes for the overhead again. Just 6P Dolphin fighting for his life, trying to stay in winner's bracket. Get hit, gets hit by the Behemoth Typhoon. Skyfish goes for the overhead like he always does. RC. But burst it. Probably a waste of a burst. But. He brings it. 1-1. One, one. Still match point. Or Beanie B. Wake up. Wake up throw by just 6 feet Dolphin. White Gold Lewis. Got, got him in the corner. Goes low when he always goes high. Immediate Skyfish. Look at that chip damage. Throws him back into the corner. Goes for the overhead. Burst! But it doesn't connect because Gold Lewis. Goes for the throw. Just 6 feet Dolphin fighting for his life and bringing the set. Up 2-2. Two, two. Yes, Match point for both Gold Lewis. Gold Lu Luai. Gold Luai. Goes for the Behemoth Typhoon. Overhead. Gets him with another Behemoth Typhoon. More Behemoth Typhoon. Media H. Good air throw by the pink Gold Lewis. Gold burst by the white Gold Lewis. Goes for the overhead. R sees it, even though he's plus on block. Respect it. 6P gets him out of the air. And the white gold Lewis on match point. Let's see if he can, if Beanie B can close this out. Tick throw. Oh, it wasn't a tick throw, but one for the overhead again. So it's 2D. Tries for the throw. Whiffs. Goes for the throw again and hits. Goes for another tick throw. Goes for the overhead. You're plus on block. And gets him. That was a convincing round. Perfect. Coming from just 6P Dolphin. Set point for either person. Whoever wins this round will take it. Gold burst coming in from the pink gold Lewis. Goes in for the throw. Another. Both gold Lewis are max meter. Goes for the full screen super. Goes for the overhead. Hits him. Goes low. White Gold Lewis in the corner. I think he blocks. He blocks, but no punish because he was in the air. Goes for a reversal uh, super. Fully charged that damage. He's not dead yet. Goes for the overhead. And he hit, hits it. And looks like Dragon will be continuing on. 3-2 in winner's bracket. Beanie B is sent to losers. Fantastic set by the Gold Luai. That's it for winners, winners bracket. Now going to losers bracket, we have Beanie B once again versus we'll do it live. Beanie B gets a match to match, ba match back to back matches. I can't speak. Fortunately, I am hosting this tournament, and no one can tell me that I can't speak. So we have Beanie B versus We'll Do It Live. So We'll Do It Live on the May, and Beanie B on the Gold Lewis. I believe in you, May. Just remember, always Dolphin. If you're not doing Dolphin, you're not doing it right. Let's
We have the disaster of passion that's going full screen dust. Dolphin. We can Typhoon. What is stronger, Tatsugeki or the Dolphin? Burst coming from the May. Running up with the Dolphin. Going low with the Behemoth Typhoon. Dolphin? Goes for the bowl. Charge D. I respect the choice. Gold Lewis coming in with round one. 45 seconds. Not a bad time. Duel two. Let's see. Starts around with Behemoth Typhoon. Going in. Running up. Hitting with the overhead gets blocked, but the ring trap. Behemoth Typhoon. Wall break. That is a lot of damage. That's all meterless damage too. Tries to dolphin to count challenge the uh the super. But Beanie B takes game number one in this first of three. Mr. President, hello? Hello? Wrong number. Alright, game number two. Ken will do it live, make the comeback. Runs up for the throw. Frame traps, but goes to the overhead, gets ca challenged by the uh, 2H, by May. May running up. Gets hit by the Gold Lewis. Gets shot by a gun. Poor May. Gold Lewis running up. Hitting. Both have burst. Wake up burst by the May player. Gets hit by the far slash. Dual two. Ain't going in. Gold Lewis swinging his coffin. More Behemoth Typhoon. RC, but still gets clipped by the Behemoth Typhoon. 6H into 6H. Big damage. And Beanie B is up. 2 0 versus We'll Do It Live. One more game, and we'll do it live. Can be set eliminated from the tournament. This is loser's bracket, after all. May coming in, swinging. Tatsugeki. Anti-air, that's big damage. Unfortunately, dropped the combo. You, you just brought a seal to a coffin fight. Unfortunately, it's like bringing a knife to a baseball bat fight. Not, not recommended. Unfortunately, Gold Lewis going up for the throw. Gold Lewis going up for the throw once again. Going for the overhead. Low into the overhead. May decides to throw a whale at him. He blocks the whale. Now he's throwing dolphins. Goes for the burst. We'll do it live. Fighting for his life. Trying to stay in this tournament. Let's see. Gold Lewis jumping in. Going for some Behemoth Typhoons. More Behemoth Typhoons. More Behemoth Typhoons. Misses the wall break because he went for the 2H. Arc Seed, just for the bad. Just for the BM. Yellow Burst. Gold Burst. Full meter on the May. And Gold Lewis takes the round. Match point. This is the last round. We'll do it live has. If they can't if they can't come back. Do our die time. For we'll do it live. Go Lewis coming in. Running up. Behemoth Typhoon. Going for the meaties. We'll do it live. Not blocking. 6P. Just a sliver left on the May player. Oh no! He's gonna get hit! And we'll do it live! Loses 3-0 and has been eliminated from there? the Jads Finding Games Drive Guilty Gear Tournament. Beanie, uh, Beanie B continues on in loser's bracket. Up next, we have the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Woman Sexer versus Bloopy. Let's see if Woman Sexer can show us his sex skills. 
Uh, can someone give Bloopy the, the room code? I actually don't have it. Um, thank you, Elsa. Let's see if Woman Sexu can sex that woman, or if he gets cancelled and gets eliminated from the tournament. Does May go to school? No, May is a pirate. Pirates don't go to school. This isn't an anime where pirates go to school. Alright, Bloopy is here. And Women Sexer is here. Let's see. Who will come out on top? Women Sexer has experience from the previous Ramlethal, where he got fucked by the Ramlethal, and he didn't do the sexing. So let's see if... Women sex, we can take the round and continue on in this tournament. Game one. Women sex or chip versus Bloopy Ramlethal. Let's who will come out on top? Coming in quick. Brief lag spike. Goes for the overhead, but instantly bursts. Alpha blade. Goes for the Rekkas. More Rekkas. Alpha Blade. Bloopy's in the corner, goes for the overhead. And convincing round one from Woman Sexer. Can he keep this up? Goes for the overhead. Woman Sexer. Gets the wall break. That damage from Chip. From the uh, counter hit overhead. Ramless all. Tries to go for the throw. Goes for the gold burst. Full screen punish with the super. I think he can RC and finish this round. I have, I have never seen that that animation before. Game one, woman sexer. So far, living up to his name. Goes for the, goes for the jump in. Ramlethal misses the six P. Goes for the overhead once again. Needs to take advice from Prodexer and get get the 6P on reaction from that. Beta Blade. Burst in the air. Real Canadian burst. Goes for the super. This is punishable. 2S. Super wake up super, but he went over it, unfortunately. Dual two. Woman Sexer with the drip. Coming in hot. Goes for the low. Goes for the high. Gets the wall break. Doesn't actually get the wall break. Chip going in for the Rekkas. Gets another wall break. Alpha Blade breaks the wall this time. Jumps in. Woman Sexer goes in for the throw. Goes for the command throw to take a convincing game two. One more game. And Bloopy will be eliminated from the tournament. Go be a ninja, he says. Believe it. Women sex are channeling the anime spirit and becoming becoming the ninja. Bloopy going for the burst. Gets a jump, goes in for the throw. Where's the mix? Let's him wake up. Scared of the D wake up DP. Chip trying to go for the for the dust combo. But not in enough range. Chip going in for the jump. Gets the Rekkas. RCs. Bloopy's in the corner. Goes for the overhead, but he gets hit by the reversal super. So smart by Bloopy. Hits him. Goes for the throw. Bloopy fighting for his life. And takes a game off of Women's Sexer. Not today. Women's Sexer going for the overhead. With some overhead, but no punish by Bloopy. First by Bloopy. Throws, throws his swords. He's in the corner. You're in the corner versus Ram. What are you gonna do? And the answer is jump out and keep pressing buttons like a true chip main. Off the blade. Goes for the overhead. Women sexer. Bringing it to match point. This is do or die for Bloopy. One more game. One more round. And Bloopy has been eliminated. Women sexer. Running in. Goes for the overhead once again. Alpha Blade breaks the wall. Goes for the cross up. Goes for the overhead once again. 
Flippy has no answer to that. It's super punishable on block. Women Sexer has full meter. One hit, any hit will bring it, bring the game. He could have RC'd and ended it. Goes for the super. Wake up throw. Or Bloopy goes for the overhead. Jump ass. Can he, can he, can he save his life? Women Sexer goes up for the throw and Bloopy has been eliminated from the Jazz Guilty Gear Strive fighting game tournament forever. Convincing 3-0 by Woman Sexer. Women Sexer is not canceled this day and will continue on sexing those women. Up next, we have Picea versus Gluten Free Guy. Who will come out on top? Uh, someone give Gluten Free Guy the goad, because I don't have it. Um, thank you, Picea. How do you how do you say your name then? I don't know how to say it. I'm saying it how it's spelled. Don't hate me. Picea, once again getting mad that I say say their name wrong, but refuses to elaborate like a true Chad. Picea? No, Pika. Pika? Like Pico de Gallo? <laughs> Will Daisuke let us into this game? Daisuke has blessed us this day. We are jumping in to Picea, uh, sorry, Pico de Gallo versus Gluten Free Guy. Pecan Sandy versus Gluten Free Guy. Do pecans have any gluten in them? We will find out. So we have Milia versus Axel. I feel like this uh, this matchup is really bad for Axel since Millie can just always get in. Gluten free guy gets hit. Getting into the Millie Vortex. Which way is he going? Goes for the goes for the uh goes for the roll through. There is uh some technical difficulties real quick. Goes for the sweep. Super super punishable. Does Pecan have these combos? Pecan does have the combos. Pecan pressing buttons. RC doesn't hit with the slide, but RC's it anyway. Takes it, takes the first round in this first of three. Jumping in. We have Bad Moon coming in. I see it. Jumping, pressing buttons. Pika go for the slide! I don't understand how that happened, but it did. Um, Axel getting hit. He's in the vortex now. Can he escape the vortex? Going for the low. Which way is he going? He chooses not to press a button, expecting the uh, this wake up super, but no wake up super to be found. Gets the wall break. Pika jumping in. Goes for the 2D. No RC to finish out the round. Still has a burst. And takes the first game of this first to three. Sweet Mankind knew that I said annul? Oh, did I say it's annual? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 definitely not annual. Don't know where why I said that. Anyway. Getting hit in in the Milia Vortex. Wall break combo. 
Wall is broken. Lots of meter to work with for for Pika on the Milia. Good anti air. Blue and free guy. Gets him down. Max range, but that's not a, 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 invincible on wake up, so he gets hit out of it. I thought that was a cross up for sure. RC, does he have these combos? No, he does not. That would have been a that would have been the round if he finished off that bad moon combo into the wall break. Jumps, gets the jump age. We have Axel fighting for his life. Gets the counter hit. He currently has the life lead. Dumble, dash dash into the cross up. Gets a block in the Milia Vortex once again. Which way to block? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Pika doesn't know which way to block. They're just pressing buttons. Goes for the throw, but gets hit. Does it a little bit too early and gets hit out of it. Jump into the jump cancel. Taking game number two in the losers bracket. You really weren't that bad, I guess. Duel one. Game number three. Current Pika is currently up 2-0 in this uh in this Milia versus Axel matchup. Goes with the cross up. I don't even know what's going on when Milia does her stuff. I just DP because I play Leo. Anyway, gluten free guy doing some uh, follow up air rensons. Gets a hit. You're plus on that, but uh, Pika presses some button buttons. 2D goes for the mix up. Presses some buttons, goes for the slide. Does he have these combos? He's dropped them before. Oh, unfortunately, he drops it. I. Fair enough, there was a little bit of lag spike, so. Understandable. Axel jumping away. 2D goes for the cross up. Do you have these? Does have these. Taking the round. Match point for Pika. This is do or die for Gluten Free Guy. If he loses this round, he has lost. He has been eliminated from the Jad's annual fighting game bi weekly tournament. Goes for the double overhead wall break. Missing round. Do or die. One more hit. He does a hit. One more hit. Anything. And Pika has taken it. 3 0. Convincingly. Versus Gluten Free Guy. Gluten Free Guy has been eliminated from the Jad's annual, biannual, bi weekly Guilty Gear Strive fighting game tournament. 3 0. All right. Last, last game of round two is Wolfie Wolf versus Mororek. Uh, how on earth? I actually, yeah, okay. After this match, we will be taking a, a short intermission before the next round of games begin. So we're just waiting on Wolfie Wolf. Can some of the people who have been uh, idling in the lobby please leave uh, to make room for uh, some of the people? Gluten Free Guy has entered the room. Thank you. So this should be, yeah, we're gonna have a brief intermission because I I need like a a break to get some water. Okay, the hopefully Daisuke blesses us. Daisuke? Please? Okay. Whew. Anyway, we are going in to game number one of Wolfie Wolf versus Mororek. Wolfie Wolf on the Nago Ryuki versus the Potemkin. Man. Duel one. Let's we got the drip red. Nago and the and the gray Potemkin. Nago goes in for the throw, wake up throw. 
dashes back. Mega Fist. Get some hits. Fukio. One for like slime head. Goes for the pot buster. What a genius. RCs. Good wait on the on the burst. Bait, uh, the burst, burst bait. Goes straight for the Potemkin Buster once again. Full screen wake up super. Bull, but gets hit by the gets hit by the slide head, so no big punish. Pot gets hit. Drops the combo. Wake up jab. Wake up slat? I think that's far slash. Anyway, round one going to the Potemkin with the two pop busters like a true Potemkin main. Always be pop bustering. Goes for the throw, goes for the, the spin. The spin is plus zero on block. So the Potemkin presses the jab, whiffs the command throw. Make it first. Gets in. Slide head. Oh, hammer fist to go through. Garuda impact to beat the wake up throw. Slide head, once again. Gets hit. Oh, no heavenly Potemkin buster today. I don't respect it. Anyway, more or what? Correct. Is it more? I'm just gonna say Potemkin. Potemkin taking round one of this first of three. Hammerfall, 2D. Mega Fist, counter hit, encounter, but he gets the gold burst because of the drop combo. Mega Fist, back Mega Fist, which is a very good counter towards the uh, Naga pressure. Burst out of the combo. Hammerfall, perfect timing on the counter to the Hammerfall. He could have RC'd it and gotten a mix up. Good combo. I think he could have RC'd that and finish off the round. Mega Fist to finish off the round. Dash back. Slide head. 2D. Mega Fist. Gets out of the Potemkin Vortex with the slash. Potemkin Buster! Let's go! He's gonna do it again. He's gonna do it again! Oh, he burst out, so we will never know. He's gonna he's gonna pop buster. Next next chance it gets, pop buster. Okay, he didn't pop buster, I lied. Goes for the meaty. Fukio in. Pressing buttons. Keeps pressing. But back Potemkin Buster. He can RC to finish him off if he's not already dead. No RC. Goes for the mirror. Fortunately, I think he's dead because he can't. Uh, he had to uh, wake up and uh, FD there so he stay alive. Anyway, game two of the first of three going to the Potemkin. The People's Champion, Potemkin. Back Potemkin Buster, always a good op defensive option. Goes for the tick Pop Buster, but doesn't get it, unfortunately. Mega Fist going in. Slide head. Putting him in the Vortex. Wake up, do nothing. By Potemkin, very strong. Double jump to beat the anti-air. Now goes at two bars. Blood goes for the, uh, the mirror. This is match point. For Wolfie Wolf, he needs to he needs to make an adjustment. Otherwise, he will be eliminated from the Jazz annual biannual weekly semi-annual fighting game tournament. Back Mega Fist goes into the Mega Ball, gets punished with the jump in. Fukio into the into the grab, spin into the grab, tries to go for the command grab, but whiffs it. Unfortunately, there is some lag. Lag has subsided. Fukio in, pressing, pressing some buttons. Nago is at full blood meter. He needs to be careful at pressing buttons, otherwise he will go into blood rage. Dash, a hammer fall into the pop buster. RC into the big damage. He could RC it again if he's a true chat. Actually, he can't because he's a wall break. The two hit confirm into super by the Nago. No full animation, unfortunately. Going for the throw. Wolfie Wolf. 
staying alive briefly in this tournament. Still match point for the Potemkin. Gets a hit. Goes in. Goes for the Potemkin Buster, but gets backdashed. Wake up dash, but he tries to go for the... He misses the uh, burst, but no punish by the, by the Potemkin. Hammer fall in. RC. He's in, he's in the Potemkin Vortex. Empty jump, Potemkin Buster. Is this over? RC into the combo, and it's over. Wolfie Wolf has been eliminated from the semi-annual Jads Fighting Game Weekly Tournament. In a convincing 3-0 by Mororek, Wolfie Wolf has been eliminated from the tournament. We will have a brief five-minute intermission while I go have go get some water um as i am very i'm very thirsty anyway i will be back in five minutes
And we are back with the uh, the first annual, first weekly Jads, semi-annual weekly, bi-weekly fighting game Guilty Gear Strive tournament. Uh, anyway, up next is Leo versus Alsa. And we shall begin. This is the first time we are seeing Leo on the stage because Daisuke has, uh, has, you know, has cursed us in the last match. Anyway, we have Leo in on the Kai versus Alsa on the Potemkin. This is winner's bracket round three. Alsa in the pink Potemkin and Leo in the pink Kai. Respect the color choices. Counter hit the counter hit the uh, the flick into throw on the uh, slide head, going for the 2D. Gr Midi Garuda impact gets it beat by the wake up DP. Jump kick. We have the slide head coming in. Another slide head coming in. Full screen. Get blocks the stun zipper. That's safe. That's not safe, but he RCs it. Back mega fist. Hammer fall through the. Through the fireball. First! Doesn't matter! Grab you out of the sky because you're Potemkin! Goes in. More pokes. Fireball from Max Green. Jump in by the Kai. Jump fireballs. Flip kick into the button. I believe that is plus on block. I actually have no idea about frame data for Kai because of the uh, shock state and everything. In the fire, fireball jump, but he gets hit by the two at, uh, two P by the Temkin. Get first out of the corner. Temkin blocks it in the air. That's not punishable if you block it in the air, I believe. More air fireballs goes for the flip kick. Jump in, hammer fall. Next, more buttons, hammer fall. Wake up, ride the lightning into the wall break. That is a lot of damage. With mix up, goes low. Jumps in into the slide head. More flip kicks. Uses the 6P out of it. Good RC combo by Alsa in the pink Potemkin. Follow up. Wakes up with the wrong super. Wakes up with the wrong super again. Uses all of his meter, but he can throw it. Good recognition by the Kai to throw the wake up mirror. And that is game number one, going to Leo, the Kai. Looks like I win this time. They didn't hit the rematch button, so they'll have to start again. Unless he's going to make an adjustment and switch characters. Let's see what happens. Let's measure sh swords. What a weeb! Let's go! Also going in again as the Potemkin. I think. I, I don't know because apparently there's this massive thing in the way. And there we go. Game number two. Leo versus Alsa. Will we see Dragon install? The answer? Absolutely not because it's awful. Duel one. Let's rock. Stun Dipper block. Into the into the uh, whiffed uh, gold burst. Kai burst. No buttons. He's expecting the uh, the wake up DP. Or slide head. Hammer fall. Where's the mix? Wake up DP by the Kai. Jump kick. It's a jump kick. Combos. Whiffs the direct lot. Good. Smart dust, but no punish on the on the block dust. Ooh, that is super punishable. Kai's doing a good job stunning the, the uh, Potemkin out. I've never seen that super used more times than Leo has so far. In the arc. Probably would have beaten that if he just continued with the hammer fist. 
Duel two. Let's Zemkin pressing buttons, live head, jumps in but gets XP'd, meaty Garuda impact. Baited out the DP, but he didn't get it. I think he tried to do it, but he missed, probably missed the input. RCs, but gets thrown. Slide head, but that's a multi-hitted fireball, doesn't work. Dire Clot, you're in the corner versus, versus Kai. This is where Kai wants you. Slide head, hammer fall. Ooh, ride the lightning to beat the slide head. He's not dead, but it's close. Alsa still has burst available, but he goes up for the throw to take game number two. 2-0, Leo versus Alsa. Challenge me again whenever you like. Failed to rematch. Unfortunate. One more game, and Leo will continue on to winner's bracket. And Alsa will be a lim will be a sent to losers. Let's see if Alsa can make the adjustment and start pressing more buttons. That's the issue: is you just need to you need to press more buttons. If you press more buttons, you'll do more damage. It's a factually accurate statement. We got we got New York. Gold burst to beat the pop buster. Respect the choice by both people. We have burst coming from Alsa. You're in the oh, you're in the Potemkin. Vortex gets the Garuda Buster into the into the pop buster. Garuda impact, but he wakes up TP. He mistimed it. Mirror takes round number one with the wake up mirror. First button slide, first button slide head, 6p, what's the mix up? Oh, he baited out the DP, I respect it, but he got hit by the 3, by the, by the throw, not the 3. The diary plot, you're in the corner versus Kai, time to guess, he's just gonna press buttons, jabs him out of it. Good 6p anti-air by the Potemkin, slide head, where's the mix up? Jump back, instant anger dash, hammer fall. Has pressing buttons. RCs with the jump over. Gets the conversion. Kai still has burst to get out of this. He still has burst. He's, he's holding it. Oh, but he goes straight for the right of lightning. Go for the pop buster so he can't burst. Good job. Sorry. Alsa taking a game. 2 1. Leo versus Alsa. Duel 1. Slide head. Jump. 6p. Burst. Slide head. Wake up. That was that was definitely DP. There's no way that wasn't supposed to be DP. 6p. Garuda impact. It's a follow-up. Caught him on the back dash with the uh, 6h. Is that 6h? I think that's 6h. Slide it. Kai just runs up and throws like a Chad. Goes up and goes up and baits the burst, but he didn't do it. Respect by both sides on that one. Six P anti here. Goes for the flick, but gets hit. Burst, but no punish on the burst. Catches, catches the hit. Jumping in, you're in the corner versus Kai. What are you gonna do? Gets counter hit, trying to challenge the the flip kick. Mirror coming in, hammer fall, but you can't punish it because the mirror's coming in. I think you can actually throw it. Anyway. This is final round. Do or die for Alsa. If if Leo wins this round, Alsa gets sent to the loser's bracket. 6p anti-air, very good anti-air is coming from Alsa. Good tech on the run-up throw. Run up DP! What a what a genius! Slide head. You're in the oh, gets the uh, Bates the DP. 
the jump ride the lightning to beat the slide head. So smart. That gold burst coming in handy. Oh, the one hit confirmed! He hit him with the third strike! Let's go! Gets, gets the wall break. One more mix up. Back into neutral. And Leo takes it. 3 1. Alsa gets sent to the loser's bracket, and Leo continues on in the winner's bracket. Up next, up next in the winner's bracket, we have Pordexel versus Dragon. This is, this is Ramlisol versus Gold Lewis, two big buttons against each other. One big body, and also Gold Lewis. Let's go. Who will come out on top? Just 6P Dolphin? Unfortunately, the May play has already been eliminated, so that advice is no longer Man, useful. I knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves... Letting the intro play? I respect it. Heaven or hell. A fellow enthusiast. Let's show off our UMAs, shall we? If you're done talking, let's begin. Ramlethal versus Gold, Gold Lewis. Lewis. Duel and one. game start. Let's rock. Going for the neutral jump. Behemoth Typhoon. Behemoth Typhoon. I don't know if Behemoth Typhoon actually beats uh, Ram's uh, Far Slash, but Far Slash clips him. But Wake Up Behemoth Typhoon gets him out of it. Goes for the overhead. Oh, goes for the goes for the frame trap, expecting him to press a button. Goes straight for the throw to beat that. Respect it. You're in the corner versus Ram. This is gonna do some damage. That is a lot of damage. Keep in mind. Uh, Gold Lewis has a lot of health, so that was at least like 250 damage right there. Oh no. Ram screwed up the jump up, and now she's in the corner. Goes for the wake up super burst to get make her safe. And the trade. Ramblesaw takes round one. Jump beats the, uh, the far slash. Behemoth Typhoon's coming in. You're in the corner versus Gold Lewis. Getting, getting hit by Behemoth Typhoons, building up that risk meter. Gold Lewis goes for the throw. Where's the mix up? Goes for the two S into Behemoth Typhoon. Skyfish, where's the mix up? Six, uh, six P. And that was a convincing round by just six P Dolphin on the gold, on the pink Gold Lewis. Behemoth Typhoon, running up, runs up for the six throw, but misses it just a little bit. Gets hit by the six P. In the corner versus Gold Lewis. Where's the mix up going to go? Goes for the throw, but gets jabbed out of it. 5S. Well, get ready to not play the game because you're in the corner versus Ramlethal. Get ready to block for the next five minutes. And he manages to escape. Very good blocking by Justic B Dolphin. Gets hit by the gold burst to get back into neutral. He throws at the super. Goes up for the throw. What a genius. Okay, you're in the corner versus you're in the corner versus Ramlethal, but you just go up and run up and throw. Game one going to Just yes, 6P okay. Dolphin, aka Dragon. I didn't order any pizza. Man Duel one. Let's rock. Oh. Oh. Jumping in. Jump in as a uh, Gold Lewis. Very hard to block. Uh, very hard to anti air because he jumps so low to the ground. Wake up throw by Gold Lewis. Goes for the midi 2S into the overhead. Gets the wall break. That is so much damage. My god. Anyway. Gets hit. Round one. Going to Gold Lewis. Ramlethal swinging her swords. Not much you can do converting off of that mid screen without meter. 
I think you can Daru into some into some knockdown combos. Goes for the overhead, but just burst straight out of it because he is plus on block after that for some reason. 6P hit, doesn't hit him in the air, but it hits him on the ground. Goes for the dust, but good block by Ramfall. Now you're in the corner versus Ram. Time to guess. Gets the hit. Now gets the gets the wall break combo. Holds out. Doesn't take round two, uh, game two this day. From one, round uh, game point. Ramfall jumping in, goes for the 2D. Does the Rekka, but doesn't follow up with it. Hits him with the Slash. I've never seen that move before! Takes some jabs. Throws him. You're in the corner versus Ramfall. Time to guess! Jumps in versus Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis, very hard to anti air. Gets the air throw. Wakes up super. Good punish by the Gold Lewis player. Not enough damage. Uh, hits him with the like the back of the Behemoth Typhoon. Unbelievable. 2 0. Just 6 speed Dolphin. Dual 1. Let's rock. There's no justice at that Behemoth Typhoon hit the Ramblethal there. Ramblethal hitting him with the slashes. Anti airs with the jump K. Air Behemoth Typhoon. Overhead Behemoth Typhoon whiffs, but get, hits him with the neutral jump. That damage! And the wall bounce! Holy shit! Gets, hits him with the uh. Hits him with the burst. But then wakes up super. Hitting with the sliver of health. Using all your meter to FD for that. Hit him with the jump. Hit him with the air to air. That was a combo, but it dropped. You're in the corner versus Ramlethal. Now you're gonna get hit. Gets him with the wall break combo. 2D. Anybody's game. Go throws him with the sword. Fighting for your life in this winner's bracket. Tried to, tried to do that 2H to hit him with the... The anti-air, the anti very smart, but also hits him on the ground, hits him, gets the wall break combo. Lots of meter on the on the side of Ramblethal. Gold Lewis is probably going to respect your wake up after this, seeing as uh, you have meter and you're Ramblethal. Very good air throw by the Gold Lewis. Hits him with the slash. Hits him out of the air. Wakes up super. You can always see that! Come with the combo. I think he'll ship out. Anyway. Game 3. Going to Protexel. Staying alive in this in this winner's bracket set. 2-1. Dragon. Protexel. Can Protexel bring it back? Going to add some buttons. Get him with the jump slash. It's hard to convert off of that. Goes for the Daru. Goes the Daru. Gets hit by the jump. Gold Lewis gets hit by the 2D. Uh, probably a miss input by Poor giving up the corner pressure. Jump in by the Gold Lewis. 6P. Hits him with the overhead. Respects the 6 the 6P in neutral, trying to beat the uh, the 5S. Overhead. This is a lot of damage, but Gold Lewis drops the combo. Jumps, beats the Behemoth Typhoon, and takes round one. Protex will fight him for his life in this winner's bracket. Duel two. Let's rock. Hang him with some slices. You're in the corner versus Ramlethal. Time to not play the game. Hits him with the cross up, but Gold Lewis hits him with the thing. And wake up super by the uh, Ramlethal. Respect the choice. Game the Typhoon. Both of, both players have burst. Ramlethal uses burst on the wake up there to get positioning. Very good Daru conversion, but the burst saves Gold Lewis. Overhead. You're super negative on that. Wake up super, but he gets the punish. Match point for Gold Lewis. 
Let's rock. Huh. You have it. Get a load of this. You have it. Recovery. Event here by the Gold Lewis going for the overhead once again. You're super plus on block. You can't pr be pressing buttons after that, Maram Laval. Tries to go for the throw once again, as we've seen before. And Dragon has taken the game 3 1 in this winning bracket. For Dexel, it has been lowered to lose losers. That's it. Dragon 3 1. Good showing in this winner's bracket. Up next, we have Beanie Bee versus the People's Champion, Woman Sexer. Let's see if Woman Sexer can show us how it is to sex women. I don't know what women's sexer is saying. This is some kind of weird foreign language. A up, young king, what's bussin'? Anyway, we have women's sexer versus Beanie Bee in this loser's round three. And let's get into it. Game one of Chips Enough. Woman Sexer versus Gold Dick Lewison, aka Beanie Bee. Who will come out on top? Duel one. We have the Kai's theme on May stage. Very respectable choice by Woman Sexer in the Drip Chip skin. Beanie Bee hitting him. Very good Gold Burst to get out of the mix up. Throw by Gold Lewis. Another throw by Gold Lewis, but gives up the corner for it. Tries to the cross up. Mixes. Misses. Wake up Skyfish. <laughs> Gets the uh, wall break just from the full security level sky, uh, Skyfish. Takes the first round. Versus Woman Sexer. Can Woman Sexer bring it back? Wake up throw by Beanie B. 2S into Behemoth Typhoon. Goes for the overhead. Gets it. Another overhead. Bud gets the gold burst by the woman sexer. Alpha blade, but he throws it. That wasn't a punish, but just a good good read by Beanie Bee. Chip's about to press some buttons. You're in the corner versus Chip. What are you gonna do? Gets the corner, uh, gets the uh, wall break. Gold Dick Lewiston still has the gold burst, burst, but he takes game one. Mr. President, hello? Hello? Gold. Can w women sexer is having hard time seeing as Gold Dick Lewison is not a woman. If he was a male sexer, this would be completely different. Chip getting the air to air, going for the DP, probably a uh, miss input. Jumping over the skyfish, going for some recas. Very good anti air with the Behemoth Typhoon. That was burst used by Woman Sexer. So if Woman Sexer has no burst in case he gets hit, he just has to block this. Speaking of Typhoon, flipping chip. Go overhead. Uses all his meter to FD that, that, uh, that, uh, Gatling gun. Wake up, super! That is. A lot of damage for Chip to take. Anyway, Be Beanie Bee is up 2-0 versus Women Sexer in this loser's bracket. Round 3. One more, one more, and Women Sexer will be cancelled. Skyfish coming in. Gets hit by the jump, but gets killed by the Skyfish in retaliation. Accidental misinput uh, miss with the Beta Blade. Trying to go for the Rekka. Alpha Blade. Get some of the jab. Get some three, uh, three frame jabs. Beta Blade, when he was trying to go for the Rekka. Unfortunate miss input by the Chad player. Human Sexer. Has the Gold Lewis in the corner. 
What will Gold Lewis do? Chip getting the wall break on Gold Lewis. Fighting for his life to stay in the tournament. Good RC, but get, gets countered by the... By the, uh, burst. Good box on, good box on the overhead of Behemoth Typhoons. Gets hit by the, the charged dust, but then burst instantly. Anybody's round. What will Chip do? Probably Alpha Blade. Hits him with the, hits him with the delayed Rekka to take the round. Women's sex are trying to, fighting his hardest to try to stay inside this tournament. Before Twitter gets a hold of him. Going for the going for the Rekkas. Good throw by Gold Lewis. Gets him into the corner. Time for time for Women's Sexer to block. Air Behemoth Typhoon. Match point for Gold Dick Lewison. Women's Sexer. What will you do? We're we're rooting for you! Good overhead by Woman Sexer. But couldn't follow up with the combo. Overhead. Behemoth Typhoon. Hits him with the with hits him with the meter Gatling gun. Ooh, couldn't convert off the with the Rekkas. Oh, miss input on the on the on the DP. But backdashes to bait out the uh, super, but couldn't punish it in time, unfortunately. Go loose going for the overhead. Alpha Blade RC goes for the overhead, but gets challenged and for the counter hit. Anybody's game. Run up and throw. Oh no, that was a throw, but he got the 2D, unfortunately. And Beanie B takes it 3 0 versus Women's Sexer. Twitter got their way, and Women's Sexer has been eliminated from the tournament. As unfortunate. Up next, we have Pika. Versus Mororek. I feel so bad for women's sex here. I, I've had that happen before, where you like dash up and you try to go for the throw, but it, uh, dust comes out instead. Oh, it's very unfortunate. This is what you said it how it's pronounced. What do you mean it's not Pika? That's literally what you said. <laughs> Pecan Sandy up against Mororek. Pecan Sandy playing the uh, playing the Milia. Duel one. Let's rock. Good anti-air. Gets hit out of the air because punished for going for the the H disc. H disc cross up. That's not a real cross up, by the way. Pretty low, but he gets the uh, he gets the burst. Two D, make a fist. Six B combo light dust into into midi. Goes for the throw. You're in the melee vortex. What are you gonna do? Back mega fist to beat to beat his buttons. Oh, good dash to get out of the uh, air throw. Air grab. More meaties against more rack. Back Mega Fist beats pretty much everything in the corner. So good. 2D, you're in the corner versus Milia. I don't even know if that was a cross up or not. Who knows? Burst to get out. Goes over, but air, air to air into the mirror. Very solid air to air by Mororek to take round number one in this loser's bracket. Guru to impact. Mega Fist. Slide head. Slide head. He's coming. 2D. He's coming. M mirror. Where's the mix-up gonna go? He didn't go for the dash, but just didn't block it instead. He was scared of the air-to-air -air after the la last round. 2D. Slide head. The dash should go straight through it. Jump, jump. 2D. No punish on the on the 2D. Scared of the uh scared of the follow-up disc that could have come out. Hits him with the du charged dust. Does he have a combo for this? Not an optimal combo, but he does have a combo. Wake up slash. Taking game number one. More action. Well done. 
Return to base. I actually, I actually have no idea how to say his name. Dual one. Versus Pecan. Can Pecan make a comeback? Garuda impact. impact. Tried for the Carib Buster. Got it anyway. That is a lot of damage. Okay, you're in the melee vortex. Where are you gonna go? 2D. This for the burst. Max, max screen, that was super punishable. Tried to go for the tick throw, but mistimed it just a little bit. Gets hit out of the H disc. He should be dead if he RCs this. Oh, he doesn't even need to RC it because, you know, Potemkin versus Milia, that's a lot of damage. Gets him out of the air, can't get the follow up combo. Gets the good, good wall player combo by the melee player. Back Mega Fist. Six speed to get him out of the air. Gets hit by the full screen. Sweet. Hits him out of the disc. Very good follow up. No! He missed the Heavenly Potemkin Buster! That is. That is unfortunate. One of these days. So we'll see that. But not today. 2D. It's him out of the disc. That's very good punish for the uh, for the delayed uh, delayed disc. And the Potemkin takes game number two. Can be can make an adjustment to come back in this in this two zero series. Let's move below. Back Mega Fist. Feed some of the pressure. Some of the full screen punish you in the melee. You're in the melee vortex, but he uses burst to get out. Fall. Mega Fist. Goes for the 2D. Time for the melee mix. Goes for the goes behind. Misses the combo a little bit. It's okay. Back in the melee mix again. Goes for the cross up. Goes for the dash through cross up. Gets the RC anti air. Gets jabbed out of the, the slide. Follow up. Unfortunately, that was way too far away. But I respect the respect the dedication. One of these days we'll see a heavenly Potemkin Buster. Dual two. Back Mega Fist coming in. Mega Fist. Mega Fist. No punishment. The Mega Fist bursts out of the Potemkin vortex. Gets jabbed out of the disc. Runs up, presses a button. Probably caught it, him pressing it, uh, trying to jab, or uh, trying to throw. Oh, goes for the Potemkin Buster, but the read on the jump RCs it to stay safe. So the full uh, screen sweep again, and hits him with the butt slam. Match point! This is, this is, this is Pika's final game, potentially. Pika, if Milia loses this game, if this this round, their tournament life is over. First into the corner. Goes over. Time for the Milia mix up. Which way? Is, which way to block? Going for the probably gonna go for the uh, cross up again. Doesn't go for the cross up. Goes for the dust. Jumping around. Good air to air. Couldn't get the conversion off of it though. In the corner versus in the corner versus Milia. So many so many different ways. Goes for the reversal Potemkin Buster. RC into the Potemkin Buster. And Potemkin continues on. And Milia has been eliminated from the semi-annual Guilty Gear Strive tournament. 3-0. Unfortunate. Anyway. We are going to Winner's Bracket Finals, Leo versus Dragon. Whoever, whoever wins this round gets a spot in the Grand Finals. This is not, this is not the Finals, this is the Winner's Bracket Finals, so whoever gets this gets to go to the Grand Finals.
Anyway, we're going into it. Lion Shard, aka Leo, on the Kai, versus Just 6P Dolphin, aka Dragon, on the Gold Lewis. Who will win this exciting battle? Duel 1. Let's rock. Gold Lewis go starting off with a Behemoth Typhoon, gets hit by the uh, Fireball, gets hit by some Flip Kicks. Very good start. Get the Flip Kick gets 6P, goes for the Dust, but gets bursted out. Gets thrown out of his midi, unfortunate. Wakes up throw. Wakes up dust. Doesn't connect. Mistimed it just a little bit. Kai, Kai air dashing back, of course. Goes for the air. Goes for the jump in. Stun dipper. And Kai takes round one with the air fireball. Gold Lewis running in! <laughs> oh lord, he's coming! Gets the throw! Where's the throw I'm in? Jump in, tries to go for the tick throw, but the Kai missed times the Sun Dipper, gets punished for it! Goes for the air throw. Jump back. Goes for the fireball. Jump in some more! Gold Lewis tried to go for the Gatling gun, but got punished for it! Sun Dipper. But that's punishable. And the meaty. Meaty far slash by the Kai takes game one. Leo Challenging up 1 0 versus Dragon Duel one. in this winner's bracket finals. We're going into the fight. Gold Lewis running up, getting hit by some air fireballs. Leo goes for the throw. Goes for the dust, but gets hit by the wake up super by Gold Lewis. That is a lot of damage for Invincible Reversal. Having Ultra Street Fighter 4 flashbacks. Anyway, air, air fireball takes the round for Leo. Dual 2. Gold Lewis goes for the 6H, six, six but gets hit bump from it. Dire Clot. You're in the corner versus Kai. Not anymore. Wall break combo going through. Gets hit by the Batima Typhoon. Both people have have burst. Wig up. Ride the lightning. Into wall break. Takes game number two. Leo up 2 0 versus Gold Lewis. Dual 1. Let's air, air slash clips him in the corner. In the corner versus Gold Lewis gets hit by the burst. Goes for the anti-air run up vapor thrust, but gets blocked. Stun Dipper properly spaced, but not quite punishable by Gold Lewis. I don't believe. Flip kick, jump out of the corner by Gold Lewis, gets hit, goes for the overhead, but he's already knocked down, goes for the overhead again, and takes it around. Good pressure by the Gold Lewis. We're currently seeing them jumping around, Gold Lewis gets the first hit, you're in the corner versus Gold Lewis, what are you gonna do? Get hit by Behemoth Typhoon, that is. Tries to go for the air behemoth typhoon to hit with the cross up. But gets anti aired by Kai. Gets hit by the flip kick. This is probably a wall break. Nope. Drops the combo a little bit. RC combo by Gold Lewis. Drops the combo a little bit. Fireball by it. Skyfish, max security meter. He's gonna have to run. Wake up! Ride the lightning. Gets hit by the Skyfish, regardless. Gets hit air to air by. Behemoth Typhoon. We are currently 2-1 in this winner's bracket finals. Kai versus Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis had a good showing in that last game, fighting for his tournament, fighting to stay in the winner's bracket. That was probably punishable, so probably wasted gold burst by both people. Gold Lewis jumping in, gets the Behemoth Typhoon. Wake up Vapor Thrust. Flip kick, flip kick, flip kick, and the wall break will take the round. 
This is match point. Duel two. This is match point for Gold Lewis. In the corner versus Akai, it gets it gets a wall break combo. That's a lot of damage coming in from the Kai. Can Gold Lewis come back and stay in the winner's bracket? Gets hit by the 6P. Drone's chasing him down. Kai gets that. Gets hit by the slash, but Gold Lewis hits him with the wake up throw. Wake up red the lightning, but I believe he's blanking. He RCs it into the instant overhead, but can't convert off of it. And Kai, Leo, will be continuing on to the grand finals. Congratulations, uh, Leo, for being our first grand finalist. Dragon has been sent to the loser's bracket. Now, up next in loser's bracket, we have Elsa versus Beanie Bee. Good showing by Leo there. Um, we are wait currently waiting for Beanie Bee to arrive. Leo is the true sexer. False. Women sexer- women sexer is a god. How dare you. He tried his best. Anyway, we're going in to game one of Alsa versus Beanie Bee. Battle of the Big Bodies. Beanie Bee, of course, fought against a, uh... Duel one. Fought against Mororek on the Potemkin. And brought him to Loser's Bracket. So see, let's see what he can do with the other Potemkin. Back Mega Fist. Very good defensive option. Goes for the goes for the pop buster, but the back dash with the punish and punish with the burst bait. Oh, the RC pop buster. So cheap. Wakes up down the system, and that should take round one. Dual two. Let's rock. Slide head. Going in. Hits him with the, goes for the uh goes for the mega fist, but the burst gets him out of there. The skyfish. Wake up throw. Back in the corner. Garuda impact. Goes for the Garuda impact once again. Overhead by Golden Lewis. Hits him. Goes for the Behemoth Typhoon. Mega fist, but gets a knocked out of the air. Goes for the overhead, and Beanie Bee has taken game one in this loser's racket. Hello, Hello? Duel one. Let's rock. Starting off the round, we have a back Mega Fist from Alsa in the pin Pink Pit Tempkin. Gets cut by the Behemoth Typhoon, gets hit by Skyfish. Hammerfall hits him. Falls up with the, the side head. Mega Fist gets anti-aired by Behemoth Typhoon. Wakes up. Wakes up burst to get him off of him. RC. Goes for the overhead. Big damage coming from. One more mix up and he will be taking the round. Beanie Bee looking, looking really good for taking game two. He still has burst. Blocked the Mega Fist. Or slight hammer fall. Tries to 6P, but still gets clipped anyway because Gold Lewis jump ins are very strong. Hammerfall, but that's punishable. Gold Lewis does not punish it in time. I don't believe that you can punish that with far slash from Gold Lewis. Gets hit by the 6P. Wake up, meaty Garuda impact. Goes for the. Goes for the. RC into the. Hot Buster once again, but this time it doesn't work because he backdashed it. Now we're back at it again, once again. In the corner. Hammerfall. Jump in to beat the Hammerfall. Bro, you're in the corner. Meaty Garuda impact. But the goal, the burst gets him out of there. Beats the drone. Wake up throw. And game one, game two will be going to Beanie Bee. Beanie Bee is up 2-0 versus Alsa. 
Duel one. Let's rock. Jump into him at Typhoon. Go up. Go for the overhead. Slide head. Hammer fall. Goes for the 2D. Slide head. Waits it out. Expecting him to press a button. Didn't press a button. Double jump. Gets the air hit. Slide head. No follow up again. Goes for the Potemkin Bunster once again. Is he gonna go for it again? No, he just waits. He was expecting the reversal. Reversal down the system. Just like that. Gets hit. Goes for the uh he goes for the care buster, doesn't hit it. Goes for the overhead. Can he be? Gets hit. Alsa. Fighting for the tournament life in this loser's loser's bracket. Midi Garuda goes for the dust! What a genius! He was too far for the he was too far for the uh the pop buster, so he just blocked! That is so much damage! Oh my god! Hits him out of the sky. Let's see. What's he gonna do? Woke up to nothing. And takes game number three. Score is currently three, uh, two, one. Beanie versus Alpha. Well Elsa. Return to base. Duel one. I cannot believe how much that, that dust combo did. Started the round with that. Does the dust once again? What a genius! But he goes instantly for the uh, burst. Smart choice. He after seeing him get hit by that uh, that dust before, he doesn't want to take eighty percent of his life. Misses the meaty Garuda. Side head. Presses the button, expecting the hammer fall. Thunderbird. Goes for the overhead. Hammer fall. Oh! He, he knew the Black Dash was coming! He tried to go for the Pop Buster and got greedy! Anyway. Match point. Do or die for Alsa. If Alsa loses this round, they'll be eliminated from the semi annual Jads tournament. Pop Buster. There's a mix up. Misses the uh, Hammerfall. A little too late on the 6P there. Back Mega Fist. Gets hit by the, gets hit by the Behemoth Typhoon. RC. Goes for the uh, pop poster once again. Unfortunately, it doesn't connect. The typhoon gets hit by the throw, and Elsa has been eliminated from the Jad's Fighting Game Tournament. Yes, hello. Beanie B continues on to the losers bracket finals. Um. Up next, we have Poor Dexel versus. Morak. Ramlethal versus Potemkin. I feel like this matchup has to be bad for, for Potemkin, right? Ramlethal just has too much... Too much range. Anyway, let's hop into it. Already back to Poor Doxel is already back into the corner. But now it's Potemkin who's in the corner. Time to block! Mega Fist in. No punish. Double overhead. Your sword is gone! What happened? Reversal gold burst. Now has a lot of meter. Tick throw into the Potemkin Buster! That's a lot of damage! You're, you're, you're actually dead, aren't you? Oh my god. What happened to your life bar? Hammerfall. Jumps over it. You're in the corner versus Ramlethal. Gets hit by the uh, 5H. 
R slash. Time to block. You have about you have about five hours of blocking left. It's by the far slash. This is definitely a uh, this is definitely a wall break. Doesn't get the uh, the punish for the, uh, the burst, but does get the American reset. Round one going to Prodexel. Tried to anti air the Mega Fist with with the jump slash. Blocks the Mega uh, Hammer Fall, but doesn't get the punish on it. Or slash. In the corner versus uh, Ram. Actually, not actually in the corner versus Ram. Ram got her sword back. Jumps in. Double overhead. Uses her burst to get out of the corner. Jumps the, the Pop Buster. Gets hit. RC, no no follow-up combo. Wake up super by by the Rambles Hall. But back Mega Fist takes a round. Dual three. Let's rock. Six P. Out of the out of the pressure. Tries to go for the pop buster, but it whiffs! Tries to Mega Fist out of uh, but no follow-up on the count on the H sword. On the high sword. Back Mega Fist. Always a good defensive option Pot has. Goes for a hammer fall. Doesn't punish it once again. I don't think Prodexel knows that you can punish that. Jump in. In the corner versus Ramlethal, time to guess, time to block some buttons. Wake up mirror. And round one goes to Potemkin. Or game one goes to Potemkin. Mission accomplished. Duel one. Let's rock. Game two. At the beginning. Amp the air. 2D. Sword. First. First to make sure that you know, they don't get wall break. 6B, Dante with the Mega Hammer Fist. Mega Fist. Slide head. Gotta block low. Gotta block that low or jump it. Mega Fist. Good anti air with the jump keys. In the corner versus Ramblethal. Jumps in. Time to block. Go get a go grab a, like a cup of coffee while you're blocking this, because you're about to not have any fun. Goes for the Goes for the mirrors, but no throw. Punish from the Ramble Ball. Got clipped by the sword. And that's and that's a round. Very good com corner pressure by Pordexel there with the Ramble Ball. Oh, the read on the jumpin! What a genius! 2D into Mega, uh, Mega Fist. Tries to go for the pop buster, but not quite enough range. Gets clipped by the sword once again. Wall break coming in. They Pot still has his burst available. Goes for the mirror. Jumps over the mirror. Goes for the double overhead. The sword you're in the in, in the corner versus Pot, but he gets hit by the hammer fall before the sword can come out. And. Prodexel taking game number two. Score is currently 1 1. Prodexel, Morak, Moro, 1 Ek? I, I have no idea. I don't know how to pronounce the letter 1. Anyway, jump, jump ins by Pot. Gets hit, gets hit by the Mega Fist. Good air to air by Ramlethal. Throwing swords. Mega Fist out of it. No fear. In the corner versus Ramlethal does not get the combo, the corner break combo. Goes for the gold burst to beat the uh, pop buster. A lot of meter on the side of Ramlethal. Pot has meter as well, so he can RC like a hammer, a blocked hammer fall and go for a 50 50. Corner pressure. You're about to block some buttons by the. By the <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. Ramlethal just doing Ramlethal things. Bullying you in the corner. 
what she does. Hammerfall. Block. No punish. Once again. Just the jump. Buttons. Jabs him out of the pressure. In the corner versus Ram. But he mega piss out. Ram doesn't have her sword. She has her sword now. Okay. Goes for the mega fist once again. Guru to impact. Tries for the Kara Buster, but doesn't get it. Unfortunate. The reversal, uh, the reversal super gets uh, gets Portaxo out of there. Ahead. 2D goes for the burst. Make a fist. Back in neutral. The clash on the 2D. Ramazal has faster buttons. Throws her sword. There's no way he's not dead here because he's just gonna chip him out. Unless, unless, unless he he, he loses the round. For Dexel, up two one. And this loses bracket. Game point. Duel one. Game point for for Dexel. Those are the slashes get hit by the slide head. Wake up, Potemkin Buster! Oh my, that is a lot of damage. Make a piss after the 2D once again. Garuda Impact but misses the meaty. Goes for the me um, Garuda Impact once again. Good showing. Trying to stay alive in this uh, in the in this first of three. Ramathal, pressing her, her long buttons, gets hit by Mega, Mega Fist. It's a very good counter versus the 5-8, uh, 5-S. Five Hammerfall to get in, but the burst gets him out of there. We're gonna impact, but the wake up super because it was mistimed. Mega Fist, 2D, keeping himself alive in this tournament. 2-2, two, two. going down to the wild. Oh wait, yeah, going down to the wire, 2-2, two, two. Prodexel versus Mor Moro on the Potemkin. Mega Fist, Mega Fist, Mega Fist, Mega Fist, oh no, no follow up Mega Fist. It would have actually worked too. Going for the, uh, going for the burst, but you're back in the corner. You need to have an answer for these Mega Fists, just block it and punish it. In the corner versus Ramlethal, you Mega Fist out of there though. Mirror is coming out. Mega Fist. Just block it and punish it. Ah! In the corner versus Ramathal. Does he have this combo? Is it gonna be some damage? That didn't corner break? Excuse me? Excuse me? There is no justice in this world. Except for Justice, who is is a uh, part of Guilty Gear lore. Anyway, throwing the throwing the sword, Mega Fist out of there. Went for the 2D Mega Fist. Moro got, has the uh, correct prediction, using these Mega Fists to beat most of Ramblethal's options. Exploiting the fact that Prodexel doesn't know that you can punish that on block. Went for the overhead in the corner. He goes for the dust, but. Uh, our season a little bit early. Goes for the throw. That was a lot of, a lot of uh, risk gauge. But he goes for the reverse of mirrors. And he hit. And it looks like Moro is going to lose his bracket finals. For Dexel has been eliminated. And a solid showing. Three two. All right. So. Up next is Loser's Bracket Final between Beanie B versus Mororek, who just who just had a fight. If Mor if Moro wins this set, he'll have to win 
two more rounds versus Leo. Have to win like four sets in a row. Going through the gauntlet. Going through the winner's- loser's bracket gauntlet. Respect. Oh, sorry, this isn't Luce's bracket finals. Yeah, my my bad. There's, there's um, there's this and then Dragon after after this. I didn't I didn't scroll right. My bad. Anyway, we are hopping into it. It's a Beanie B versus Morarec. Beanie B on the Gold Lewis. If Daisuke will let us play watch this match. Daisuke has 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 blessed us this day. Yeah, this isn't this isn't losers finals. I I messed up. Will history repeat Im itself? Good good point. One of the Three, earlier one. games. Beanie B beat Moro. Three one. Let's see if he took any lessons from that. Mega Fist but gets blocked. Bird. Side head. Goes straight for the pop buster. Garuda, Mita Garuda. RC for, for some reason. Bird. Goes for the overhead. Gets hit by Behemoth Typhoon. Goes for the pop buster. Dual 2. We have the human typhoons coming out. Big, big bodies all around. Wow, going for the, going for the cross up. Gets hit by the air. Behemoth typhoon, getting hit by some meaties. Goes for the overhead once again into the wall break combo. Gets hit by the overhead. Dual three. Let's Both people will have bursts going up in this following fight. Air Behemoth Typhoon hits the cross up. More Behemoth Typhoons. Goes for the overhead. Super plus on that. Make a fist. Punishable, but I don't think by that. But he pressed the button afterwards, and Beanie Bee has taken round game one in this first to three. Dual one. Overhead. He goes low this time. It's the hammer call. 2D. Goes to the throw, but misses it. Goes straight for the gold burst. Gold Lewis with the gold burst. Hammer fall. Blocks it, but doesn't get the punish. The impact. Goes straight into the Potemkin Buster. Didn't mash hard enough. Didn't get the air throw. Follow up. Make a fist. Goes straight into down the system. But that is not a punish. Even a reversal. But he goes in for the overhead. Dual two. Let's rock. Comes up, gets a throw. Behemoth Typhoon, Mega Fist in the corner. Midi Garuda goes straight to the uh, Mega Fist, tries for the throw but whiffs it. Skyfish, wake up throw, gets him into the corner, goes for the Pop Buster, but the wake up down the system punishes it. He has burst, back Mega Fist, always a good button. Side button, burst. Gets chipped out. Didn't FT the Skyfish, unfortunately. Mr. Beanie B, up 2-0 against Moro on game point. You're pissed. Behemoth Typhoons. Behemoth Typhoons and Anti are very good, good option. Mega Fist. It's punishable, but doesn't get the punish. Mega 
back to commit Typhoon, or back Mega Fist, always a good defensive option. Goes for the air, jump S, takes the round. This is set point. This is fighting for Mora's tournament life. Goes for the tick ball into the Potemkin Buster, and her fall goes straight into the Potemkin Buster once again. One more button, and he's dead. And he hits him with the two, uh, two D to stay in. Mega fist. Need some jumps. Side head. Mega fist. Side head. It's punishable. He didn't get the punish, but he's still uh, caught pressing buttons. Went for the overhead, but he did the mirror to for immunity, uh, invincibility. Time to go for the throw. Burst with the bait. Good burst bait. Goes for the anti-air. Is he is he dead? Wake up, Potemkin Buster! Is this what he's gonna do? He's gonna wait. He's gonna wake up down the system. I knew it. Unfortunately. And Moro has been eliminated. Beanie Bee continues on. What is it? Was that 3-0 or 3-1? I forget. Can someone tell me if that was 3-0 or 3-1? Um, that was 3-0. Good job. All right. We are going to loser's bracket finals now. For real this time. We have... We have Dragon versus... Versus, uh, shoot, let me. Versus Beanie Bee. This is the uh, this is the this is the Gold Lewis mirror match. Once again, this is the rematch. The very the very first game uh, in the very first round we had Moro versus Beanie or we had second round. We had Dragon versus Beanie Bee, and it was 3-2 Dragon. So let's see if uh, Dragon can can continue. Two manly men fighting. Exactly. <coughs> anyway, continuing on to game one. Both go for Behemoth Typhoon. One Behemoth Typhoon better. Behemoth Typhoon. Good 6P. Get him out of the air. Burst to get him. Uh -huh. Air Behemoth Typhoon beats air, uh, air Slash. So just 6P Dolphins in the pink. Gold Lewis. And Beanie Bee in the white Gold Lewis. Just two, two thick men swinging against each other. He blocked that. I don't think it's punishable. Probably was from something fast. Goes for the 2D, but not enough range to, to land. I don't think he can do much from this. Caught him pressing buttons. And just 6 feet off and stakes round one. Starting off round two. We have some, some good footsies, and by footsies I mean Behemoth Typhoon, Behemoth Typhoon, Overhead Behemoth Typhoon, baits the burst, doesn't get the punish from it. That Behemoth Typhoon hit the entire screen. Good jump, baited the throw, almost missed, almost missed breaking the wall, but Dragon takes game one. Being the typhoon. Anyway, going into it. Beanie B. He's mad. Coming back. He's, he's looking to get it perfect. Will I get it? Looks like it. Perfect. Beanie B. Not taking that loss. Standing down. Once again, coming at it, Air Behemoth Typhoon, 
another air behemoth typhoon. Oh, is using his burst. Going for the overhead. He's very plus, but not enough to capitalize on it. These men are just shooting guns at each other. Goes for the throw, but mistimes it just a little bit. Goes for the overhead, he's plus. Goes for the air to air. And it looks like Beanie B, it takes game two. Score is currently 1 1 in this loser's bracket finals. Anyway, going back into it, we have uh, Will Lewis versus Will Lewis. Beanie B down about half a health. Goes for the overhead. Neutral, uh, empty jump into the throw. Very smart. Use a lot of his meter to, uh, empty that, but just go straight in for the throw. It looks like just 6 speeds off and has taken round one. Both go for Behemoth Typhoon, but only one hits. First going in, overhead, goes straight into pressing another button, because he's super plus. Gets the overhead, conversion, skyfish, Gets him, brings him to the other side of the screen, goes for the super, goes for the overhead, very good FD, very good defense by Beanie Bee there. We had skyfish, jumps in, but I don't think he pressed a button, he did press a button! Beanie Bee taking, uh, fighting for his life. We'll take game three. Behemoth Typhoon's coming out. Not much I can say when everything is just. Just. Just Behemoth Typhoons. Burst into burst! Air to air, good air to air, the Thunderbird is still coming. Good jump in to whip punish. Coming in with Behemoth Typhoon, just swinging, swinging their coffins. This is the dumbest, this is the dumbest matchup I've ever seen. And we have Beanie B taking game number three, up 2-1 in the loser's bracket finals. We got Behemoth Typhoons versus Behemoth Typhoons. Going for the overhead. Behemoth Typhoon, Behemoth Typhoon, Behemoth Typhoon! You'll never guess what he'll do next! It's Behemoth Typhoon! That wasn't Behemoth Typhoon! Breaking the mold. Wake Up Super into Wake Up Super. Respect it. Goes for the Thunderbird. Goes for the air to air, but he blocks it. Goes for the overhead, but he's super plus. Beanie B on match point. Working his way, trying to get into winners finals. Or trying to get into the grand finals. Goes for the overhead. Good air throw by Just a Speed Dolphin. Goes for the overhead. Super plus on block. Goes for the low. Gets the air throw. Oh my god, that damage! And then, he just pulls out a gun and shoots him. No, no burst. Still match point for Beanie Bee. But can just like speed Dolphins bring it back? You've seen the glorious ballet of the Batman. With Behemoth Typhoons and uh, Jump-Ins. So the Media 2D. Burst! But he burst baited it, and it looks like Beanie B is going to face off against Leo in the Grand Finals. No rematch for Dragon. Dragon has been eliminated from the tournament.
I believe it is three, one, right? All right. Before we begin the grand finals between Beanie B, uh, between Beanie B and Leo, this is a first to five. Beanie B has to win two sets of first to five before he wins the tournament. Oh wait, what? Yeah, you did. That was three. That was. That was three one. Am I am I dumb? Oh shit! Yeah, it's sorry. Yeah, losers bracket is first to five as well. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot my own rules. My bad. It is not over yet. Dragon has not been eliminated. Stop the count. Stop the count. Dragon has a chance to come back. Turns out I'm a big dummy. Dragon better win this to make me look like an idiot. Stop the count. I completely forgot. I thought I, you know, I saw so many behemoth typhoon. Like in this behemoth typhoon, you 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 forget how tournaments work. Okay. The Battle of the Century, Gold Lewis versus Gold Lewis. We are back once again. Just six speed dolphin versus Beanie B. Beanie B is up three one. He needs to win two more rounds before we actually get to decide. Unfortunately, fortunately, Jads kept forgot that it was uh, first to five, and I had to remind them. Um, fortunately. Beanie B is mad that he has to play Gold Lewis once more. Coming in hot. Meanwhile, Dragon. Dragon wants to make me feel like a, like a smart person. Good burst bait. By Just Six Feeds Dolphin. Getting the uh getting the conversion. He could have ended it if he if he is super. RC? Please FT! He did not FT it. Unfortunately, I think he pressed the button. Dual two. Let's rock. Just like Speed Dolphin still has his burst available. Anyway, get Beanie Beat down a little bit. Goes for the overhead. Goes for more guard breaks. More Behemoth Typhoons in the corner versus Gold Lewis. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go. He's gonna Behemoth Typhoon you. Goes for the overhead. But unfortunately, he was down first. Just wake up, Behemoth. I uh, wake up down the system. I think he might have been able to punish that if it's a little bit faster. FTs it. But Beanie B takes the game. 4-1, like Beanie Bean. Does, does it feel like a strive force people to live on it with a sliver of life with, for certain moves? No, that's just fighting games. Um, It's called the Magical Pixel. Anyway, we're back into the game. Just Six Feet Dolphin has a wide way to climb if he wants to get into winners into the Grand Finals. Oh, 
Oh, uh, they air jab into down the system. What a confirm. There's no way that was a confirm, right? That's too godlike to be a confirm. Anyway, goes for the overhead. Super plus. I don't know if you know this, but uh, the overhead behemoth typhoon is plus on block. Uh, I haven't mentioned it before. Anyway, Skyfish, putting him back into the corner. Jumping in, gets the anti-air for the car slash. Air to air from Beanie B. Beanie B really mad. On match point, for real, goes uh, just six speeds off and goes for the overhead. Wants to stay in the tournament. Well, Lewis tries to go for the buttons, but gets hit. Burst, gets hit out of the air. Any button, he'll get chipped out. Will he do? Gets hit by the overhead, burst! BDB, just any button and he'll, he'll beat him! Gets chipped out by the drone and BDB goes to the grand finals in a convincing 5 1. Pizza? I didn't order any pizza. Anyway, so yeah, um, grand finals! Time for the grand finals. We are, we are gonna see Leo versus. Leo on Kai, not playing Leo, he's playing Kai because his name is Leo, so obviously he plays Kai. Versus Beanie B. Beanie B has to win two sets of five in order to win the tournament. Leo only needs to win one set of five because he is in winner's bracket. If you don't understand how it works, um, if you're in winner's bracket, you have to lose a set in order to get to knock the lo losers before losing. So anyway... Let's see if Beanie Bee can take it, take two sets of five, and take it, and win the Grand Finals. Leo already fought one Gold Lewis, but now he's fighting another Gold Lewis. Yeah, Beanie Bee, you have to, you have to win two first to fives fight, uh, twice. That's how fighting game tournaments normally are. They, they have double, double limb in Grand Finals like that. Yeah, just win 10 out of 8... No, it's not 10 out of 18 games. You have to win two sets of five. Because if you lose a set of five, you, you still lose. Oh, let me, let me make it official and actually say Leo versus Mini B. You can start whenever you feel like it. So we are currently waiting for Beanie B to start the round for the Grand Finals. Winner gets art commissioned from Jack Chan, the greatest artist on Jad's, second to only only pub sub, me, myself. Um, so let's see. Yeah, and 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 Patty. And Patty will uh, make a art commission as well. Uh, Jack, Jack Chan is currently on vacation, otherwise we would have seen his godlike Faust. He's, uh, he's busy vacationing in Florida, where he is currently e enjoying uh, a sub made by our current sponsor for today. This stream is sponsored by Publix, the finest subs on the planet. Okay, we're we're gonna give we're gonna give Beanie B a, a short break, cause uh, he just had a grinding set versus Dragon. He actually fought two sets in a row. He he fought Moro and then he fought um fought Dragon. I'm my my voice is getting a little rough. I don't think I'll be able to be the uh, the Akuma's secret eleventh hour boss. 
for the tournament, unfortunately. Fortunately, I have waiting for me. I have waiting for me a Publix, not a chicken tender sub because they're, they're not good cold. I got a Publix sub yesterday. So I have another Publix sub waiting in the fridge, waiting for me as my reward for hosting this tournament. We'll have to rename the, uh, the server to, to pub sub discord server, PBDS. But dads, I am, I am in fact, I am in fact uh, broadcasting from the back room of the Publix. And here we go, Leo versus Beanie Bee, grand final set one. Will Beanie Bee be able to make the run back or will Duel Leo one. beat the other Gold Lewis in the tournament? So going in. So going in, we already have the burst coming from Beanie Bee. Leo jumping in, gets the hit from the anti-air, does the flip kick, but he gets crossed up. Gold Lewis throwing, puni uh, punishing to challenge the uh, the frame advantage from the flip kick block. Skyfish coming out, you're in the corner versus Gold Lewis, what's he gonna do? He's got- oh, wire C! So smart. Not, not today am I gonna be stuck in the corner against Behemoth Typhoon. Stun Dipper, missing. Not enough range to jump in versus the Kai, or versus Azkai to jump in. Down the system to get, interrupt the frame trap, and round one goes to Gold Dick Lewison. Stun Dipper, connecting but not actually connecting. Burst coming in from Gold Lewis. Hits him with the far slash. Wake up burst. In the corner versus Kai. Kai has very strong corner pressure. Getting hit by the Behemoth Typhoon. Gold Lewis running in, expecting the expecting ride the lightning, but he doesn't press it. Wake up DP. But down the system. I think that's punishable, but no, unfortunately he does not go for the punish get the punish. Kai going for the cross up. Doesn't get the conversion off the flip. Flip kick, late hit, run up, throw, and Beanie B will be taking game one. What is it? He only has nine more games to go before he becomes gets crowned champion. How do they always run away so fast? So anyway. Duel one. Let's rock. We have a we have game two going in. Running up. Goes for the meaty, but vapor for us. I thought for sure he was gonna go for the throw there. Jumping gets gets anti air by the far slash. Thunderbird coming in. Jump Kai jumps over it. Gets anti air gets anti aired by the flip kick. That's a big damage, but fortunately Gold Lewis had burst. Far slash. Gets hit by the Patima Typhoon, big damage, but he, but Leo goes in for the burst. Point Blake Skyfish, but then he just goes for the gold uh, YRC. Goes for the throw. Flip kick. He's plus on block. Gotta respect that. Jump S. Wake up TP. Down the system, he's gonna get clipped by the fireball. No big punish, but unfortunately, he gets hit by the. The Behemoth Typhoon. Beanie B is going the distance. Let's see if he can make it. Fight his way back from loser's bracket. Behemoth gets hit by the Behemoth Typhoon. More Behemoth Typhoon. Behemoth Typhoon. Gets hit by the Stun Dipper. Oh, amazing burst play by Leo, knowing that he would he press a button during it. He delayed it, but he got hit by the down the system anyway. Wake up, wake up throw, hit him, maybe. 
Got hit by the Skyfish. And game two, going to Beanie Bee. Beanie Bee going the distance. Will he reset the tournament bracket? Only eight more games to go. Dual one. I agree. This is not the grand final track. We all hoped and dreamed of. The fireball. Became a typhoon. Coming up, goes for the meaty. Doesn't get the combo though. The air to air. Beanie B putting on a clinic, showing how to make the run from the loser's bracket. Beanie B really doesn't like my voice because he wants me to keep casting. Charge dust, getting hit by. Gets hit by the charge dust from line, line charge. Gets hit, stun dipper, very far. Flip kick, dire clot. Gets hit by the air, anti air flip kick, very strong button against the loose, it seems. First. Oh, gets hit by the gets hit by the flip kick, but can't convert it. Gets hit gets hit before the uh, skyfish can come out. Jumps over the bar slash, but gets clipped on the way down anyway. Behemoth typhoon, behemoth typhoon misses the uh, misses the conversion. Jumps over with super stun dipper. That's punishable, but be behemoth typhoon is too slow. It's hit. Oh my. I don't know what happened there, but people pressed buttons. And that's all that really matters. Jumps up. This is a big punish, but unfortunately, Leo was not able to convert off of it. Dire Clot. Big damage. This is probably a wall break, but Gold Dick Lewison gives us a nice what a gold burst is, or burst is supposed to look like. And that's the wall break. Leo. Fighting his way, showing showing us what's going on. More meaties, jumping him at Typhoon. One hit confirm into ride the lightning. Very strong. And we're we're currently at 2-1. In looks like I win In winner's bracket. Dual one. Let's run. Stun edge. Stun edge. Stun edge. Goes for the flip click because he was gonna try to jump for it. Didn't get the conversion though. First, anti air flip kick. Huge damage. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. And into the ride of lightning. That is. If you think that that's not a lot of damage, it's because Kai is terrible. <laughs> so, anyway, flip kick gets challenged. Gets hit, Behemoth Typhoon. by the skyfish wakes up sacred edge sacred edge once again this should be a this should be a punish oh but he only gets a run up the good old chicago punish i think he'll recover in time no he won't wake up down the system once again by beanie bee dual two and fully the fishy Pick up a kick. Pardon me. You give me no choice. Maybe, maybe fireball. Good punish on the skyfish by by Leo. Running up, he went for the meaty throw. I knew for sure he was going for the throw there. Uh, flip kick. Got hit by it. Dire clot. Let's see. Got challenged finally for for doing the flip kicks. RC didn't get the uh, red RC. Burst. Air to air. Staying alive once again. Lion chair. It's currently two one. Beanie B lion. Air behemoth typhoon. That's a combo, but he didn't get follow up. Skyfish to challenge the charge fireball. Unfortunately, Sky Dip Stun Dipper, not a fun button because it, it is punishable on block sometimes, on hit sometimes. RC. We get the wall break coming from, from the Kai. Runs up and gets hit by the uh, 
Oh, the Behemoth Typhoon. Good, uh, good FT on the from the Kai there. RC. He's gonna get hit. Oh, RC! He has a gold burst. He has meter. Sacred Edge. Oh, the the, the whip punish right. The lightning. What a god! Oh my god! What a what a genius! What a genius! Duel one. Two two. I mean, if he did if he did two S into Red Lightning, it would have done more damage and been safer. But you know, I respect it. Oh, tried to confirm off the air hit. Unfortunately, Red Lightning is like minus 60, so he had to RC it. So all that gold burst is gone now. Flipped him on the Skyfish. Got hit by the air uh, anti-air Behemoth Typhoon. Hard slash, air to air, got hit, R no meter for RC, down the system, wake up. Not fully charged though. I thought for sure Kai was gonna wake up, ride the lightning. Yeah, that's, that's very punishable. Very punishable. First, burst coming in, charge, uh, charge fireball, running up for the throw. Goes for the meaty, but burst the meaty. Get out of there. Good anti air by the gold Lewis, and the follow up from the Dundas bird. Wake up DP. Down the system. He just DP'd it. What a legend. This is a big damage. It should be wall break. Unfortunately, I think a combo drop, probably. Good hit from the Kai. Runs up for the throw. RC! And and he's staying in there. Duel three. Let's rock. Oh, Edge gets him hit hit with the anti-air stun or Uja Arca once again. Ooh. California burst moment there from Kai coming in. Gold Lewis wasting RC just to scale down his wall break combo. And Beanie B striking back. 3 2. What is it? So it's currently 3 2. Fortunately, I only have the lobby set to. Uh, the first to three so we get a brief intermission before we hop into game number four game number five five it's three two six i know how to count wait i had a what 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 i had a commentator moment Duel one I don't know what I said. Anyway. Looks like Leo has figured out his the best button to use against Gold Lewis, and it's the flip kick. It's very strong against the, the shallow jump ins that Gold Lewis does. The combo. Counter hit on the on the flip kick, but the frame trap challenged it with a wake uh, with a reversal super wake up throw. What's he gonna do? Oh, he could have gotten so much more than that. Apparently, apparently, magical space energy does not beat a robot drone. But anyway, Leo took took the uh, the round regardless. Back to to try to bait the the uh the TP, but didn't quite work. You got a counter hit on the on the flip kick. Runs up the throws and with punish the the uh 
Behemoth Typhoon. He tried to run up to get the throw, but then Gold Lewis jumped over him and he whip punished him. Very solid showing from Leo. 3-3. Three, three. Duel 1. Let's rock. Gets hit by the open, start of the round Behemoth Typhoon. Runs up to throw him. Goes low. Justin Wong would be proud. Jump Behemoth Typhoon. First, get him in there. Throw. He's in the corner. Wake up throw by Gold Lewis. Baits the burst. This should be wall break. Wall break coming in. Gold Lewis has a bar, a bar meter, so you need to watch out for the uh, reversal down the system. You shouldn't be dead here. There goes Kai's meter from FDing that, but jump back slash anti air takes the round. Run up to to whip punish. Tried to wake up burst, but the burst bait. Smart by Gold Lewis, but wake up throw from Kai. It's conversion. Doesn't convert off to the stand S or stand K. The full conversion off of the flip kick. Jump in, but the throw from Gold Lewis. I don't think that that's that positive. Wake up throw. RC. Bait the burst. Very smart. Coming from Leo. Dual three. Let's rock. DP. R slash clips him. Wake up DP once again. Down the system. I don't think he pressed a button. He did press a button, unfortunately. I think he pressed uh 6k. Anyway, we're at 4-3. Beanie B Leo. Dual one. Let's run. I'm gonna Gold Lewis. Wake up DP. Anyway, we have a Behemoth Typhoon coming in to beat the flip kick. Gold Lewis, press some buttons. DP into RC DP. I respect the the gusto. Block the block the overhead, but beats him in the air with the jump uh, jump slash. Dual two. Where he, Beanie B is one round away from resetting the tournament bracket. Try using burst to get out of the pressure. Runs into the Behemoth Typhoon. Gets thrown. Meaty Fireball. Tries to anti-air with the jump back and slash, but doesn't quite hit it. RC, RC the uh, Sun Dipper. Kai trying to bait out the uh, wake up down the system. Runs up and grabs the, uh, the, th the drone. Tries to bait out the uh, wake up super once again. Runs up and throws. Is he gonna wake up super this time? Or oh, the late, the delayed burst. Runs up and throws him. Not today. Are you gonna reset the bracket? Anyway, we're on re bracket reset point once again for Beanie B. Flip kick coming in. Flip kick. More combos. Couldn't couldn't press a button quite in time for Gold Lewis. Flips him and whip punishes him on the on the jump in. Great Behemoth Typhoon coming in. Behemoth Typhoon on his wake up once again. Hits him with far slash. Didn't, didn't TP. Tried to backdash and make the DP once again. Wake up Skyfish. Oh, got the burst, but he went to the other side. Through Down the system, I think he's dead. 
and the bracket has been reset, ladies and gentlemen. We are now. What is it? Leo has been sent to there? losers bracket. So one more set, one more set, and Beanie B. Beanie B is going the distance. He's like Rocky. Can Beanie B take it on his gold Dick Lewison? Or will Leo fire back once again? Showing him the power of God and anime. We're going in to the grand grand finals. Whoever wins this set of five will take it home. Take home the grand prize. It's not a big deal. Runs up throws. Bates the, bates the wake up throw with a neutral jump. Some of this one different RC. More, more arcs. And gets the wall break. Positive. Sun Dipper. Once again with the wall break. Firing back with the perfect. Leo is like, you may have you may have reset the bracket, but you're not gonna take the tournament. Not today. Good air air. By the Kai. Sun Dipper. Actually connects the sun. Good air to air. Gets hit by a far slash. Meaty Skyfish once again. Got the combos. Flip some buttons and convert off of it. Wake up first. RC. But punishes the RC. 1 0 in the bracket reset. By Leo. Dual one. Let's rock. Anyway, we're going into game two of the bracket reset. Stun Dipper coming in. Burst, but he baits out the burst, jump back. Beanie B really respecting his wake up. Jump in. There's low. Wait, we have some bounces. Wake up throw on the whiff punish. Tries to burst the burst the base. Burst the base. Um, bait the burst. But was just a little. Just needed to wait a little bit longer. Ride the lightning. Did he press a button? He did press a button. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Respect it. Lewis jumping in. Throw, throw it's down to the uh, back dash to bait the bait the throw. Kai on a sliver gets hit by a far slash to finish out the round. Dual three. Let's rock. Getting hit by Behemoth Typhoons. Behemoth Typhoon. Runs up straight through the Skyfish. No, no respect. Bates the base it with a neutral jump, but doesn't convert once again. I think you need to you need to press H on that. On that neutral jump for it to actually work. That combo to actually connect. Got the bur bait, uh, the burst, but didn't connect. Gets the wall break combo. Kai is still in this, but Gold Lewis has a ton of meter to work with. Okay, where's the mix gonna come? Oh, he just runs up and does it! 
Oh no, he got hit by the overhead afterwards. Oh, unfortunate. What is it? So right now we are at 1-1 in the grand finals between Beanie and Leo. Okay, Goldo's jumping in. Gets a throw. Where's the mix? Guns for the backdash again. Baits the throw. Kai goes for the burst. Interrupts the frame trap with a with the reversal. Kai has a lot of meter to work with. To make this comeback, he gets a throw. RC, this should be a this should be a wall break. Oh, he goes for the dragon and so let's go! Doesn't get the wall break, but it doesn't matter because he's looking cool! Let's go for the dragon and- Oh, I'm, I'm lucky. Yeah, that's that's why you don't go for the dragon install. Okay. Beanie B, ruining the hype by beating him with the dragon from the dragon install. Goldus gets another throw. Goes for the gold burst, punishes it. Beats the YRC by being at range. Gets a wake up throw. Where's the mix gonna be? Gets the pre presses the button, but doesn't. Shouldn't be punishable, I don't think. Anyway. Beanie B is up 2-1 in the grand finals of the Jad semi-annual, bi-weekly, bi-annual fighting game tournament. Goes for the charge dust and hits it, he's gonna burst instantly. He gets the burst but doesn't get the burst bait combo that he wanted. Oh, challenges the backdash with by the lightning, catches his backdash. Gets the wall break. Gets a, gets a PRC. Gets him hit. Gets the ride the lightning to finish out the round. Clean round by Leo. Fighting back once again. This time he's not going for the dragon install, he's going for the Red Lightning! <laughs> Runs up for the throw for the whiff punish. Immediate fireball, where's he gonna go with this stun dipper? RC goes for the charge dust, but doesn't hit! Behemoth Typhoon gets him away. Gold Lewis still in the corner, gets a jump in on the slash. Big pressure coming in from Kai, gets hit by the the, uh, the 5H. Oh, doesn't get the, doesn't quite get in range for the, uh, the jump H. Has to use burst to get out of the Skyfish. And then the, uh, the media 5K five, uh, 5 takes the round. Being a B. Get in the air, overhead. Some buttons. RC. Big damage coming from Gold Dick Lewison. He wants it. Gets a Sun Dipper. Gets the Sun Dipper once again. Skyfish or Thunderbird coming in. Knocks him just out of range for the uh for the overhead. And Gold Lewis. What is it? Beanie B, up 3-1. He's going the distance. Four sets in a row. This guy is unstoppable. He's a monster, making the run. Can he do it? Can he go the distance? Can he go the distance?
we have Beanie B up 3 1. Let's see. Vapor Thrust. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll not play that just in case the bug gets muted. Anyway, we're going in. Base of, the, base of throw. Does the first. Goes for the overhead. Wake up! Wake up fireball, that was probably ZP. Which the jump gets punished by the throw in, uh, by the throw. Air fireball back, gets clipped by the uh the jump. RC, can he convert? Not really. And it wants the direct clap with the down the system. Dual two. Let's rock. Paper thrust gets blocked. I think I think Beanie B has this download complete. He's inside Leo's head, making the run from losers bracket, doing down the system. Gets the hit once again. Can this guy make a wrong guess? No, he can't because he's he's psychic. Goes for the overhead, right the lightning. He's out of there, but he gets shot by a gun. And that brings Beanie Bee up 4-1 on tournament point after going the distance. Four sets in a row after resetting the bracket from loser's bracket. Can he do it? Gets the first. Runs in. Goes for the throw. What's the mix up? He back dashes, but still gets clipped by the gold burst. Doesn't get the meter though. Goes for the throw. Runs up. Media Medi K. I hear air on the jump slash. Vapor thrust. Goes for the throw. He's in the corner. You're against Gold Lewis. What are you gonna do? It's time to block. He gets the he gets the wall break. The wall break is coming. Gets the, through the uh, uh, Behemoth Typhoons. Thunderbird going in. Beats the throw. Beats the burst, but. Not quite on time. And he, ladies and gentlemen, we are at tournament point for Beanie B. One more round and he'll be taking taking home the prize. Can this man be stopped? Goes for the meaties. Behemoth Typhoon. Goes, uh, Kai goes for the DP, but this man cannot be stopped after four straight sets. Goes for the throw. Behemoth Typhoon RC, and I think he's done it! Beanie B is your Jads fighting game tournament extravaganza tournament winner! He has won. He has not only won the tournament, but he has won the hearts and minds of the people at home. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Unbelievable. He has gone the distance. The real Rocky Balboa. He climbed stairs. He fought to the end with Apollo Creed himself. And he has done it. With the power of God and anime. And the gold, power of his gold dick. Nothing could stop him. And he is our champion. Congratulations to Beanie Bee. On your tournament victory. So yeah. Um. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do at this point. I don't know how to save the bot. It should be saved automatically, right? I would I would play the Rocky theme. I would play the Rocky theme, but I I can't because I don't want to mute the bot. Um Can you can you check if like the vods are saved? I don't know how to actually do it. I have it set in the settings that it should automatically save the vods, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Pub subs unofficial Jad's archive. Um. 
Don't get DMC'd. Yeah, let's let's all let's all watch Steins Gate. Anybody out for watching Steins Gate? <laughs> Next time, play a real Guilty Gear. It's true. Uh, should be in videos. Yeah, but is it in in there? Can't wait! Can't wait for next week slash year, for the uh, Jads. Anyway, thank you all for watching the uh, the Jads fighting game tournament extravaganza. Please, congratulations to Beanie Bee on on his tournament victory, and congratulations to all the participants for entering and joining. Unfortunately, some a few people had to drop out. But overall, I would say this tournament was a massive su success, and thank you to the viewers at home. I'll see you next time. And anyway, stay. I don't. I don't know what the what's the best sign off. Elsai Kangaroo. There you go.